Uh, opening night, there is nothing like it as we usher in a brand new season of Cavalier basketball. We've come to Toronto and the Scotiabank Arena, formerly the Air Canada Centre, where, of course, it will be raucous inside a sellout here tonight to watch these two teams. Constant moving. Oh, nice fake pass. And a miss, though, by Jetty Osmond. But he hustled, stayed after it. Now it's controlled by Toronto. Down the floor, Lowry gives it up, surprisingly, but Leonard is there. He actually had a shot. They do, and Leonard gets two. Past the halfway mark in the opening quarter. Glad you're with us here on Fox Sports All. Oh, it's good for Lowry. Lowry with five now. Leonard pops inside and scores over George Hill. Remember, those two guys were trained for each other in the Clarkson fades into this. Here comes Leonard, thinking about coast to coast, but he had to back it up. Leonard off the bounce, gets it. So Kawhi Leonard, who has started sluggishly to uh, five, knocks one down. You can tell Jetty loves to play defense. He loves that challenge. Yes. He has the size to do it. Here That's comes Leonard back out there. Snaps a pass to a winning Lowry for three. That's good basketball there. Been good in those corner threes. 48 percent to the corners a year ago. And Trudis all day missed it. Leonard found it up. So Kawhi Leonard has six. Leonard and Thompson took a tough fadeaway in the hit. So Kawhi Leonard starting to feel it a little bit now. He's got 12, 54, 41. It just looks stronger shooting the ball and he says he's got better leg strength and just more confident now yes worked out of course in the offseason one day with lebron james and Kawhi leonard and kevin durant how about that workout leonard the free ball has did a good job of creating a loose ball but they couldn't get a hold of it that time leonard off that rub off screen and he got just off touch to go and he shoots a dead ball his ball is always, but it hits up there, it doesn't do much. Going to reverse no go. Here comes Siakam. Thinking about coast to coast. Out of control. Nick. Leonard spins it through. They are just killing the Cavs at the three-point line. Yeah. 11 of 22. Leonard settles for one and hits. Got great rotation on the ball. Yeah, he always shoots the ball end over end with the seams. It's amazing for a guy who came out of San Diego State and did not have much of an offensive game. He just willed himself into becoming a, right. a heck of a shooter. Can't wait to cut it to six, maybe five. Jetty goes to work with the left hand. Ran out of room. Siakam defended it well. Quick race. Leonard now draws a foul. Jetty had the right idea, but Siakam was there. Now they're going to review this to see a potential clear path, I believe. Kyle Lowry joined by former Spur Danny Green in the backcourt for Toronto. Kawhi Leonard starts at the three with Pascal Siakam. And Serge Ibaka getting the start over Jonas Valanciunas because of the matchup with Horford tonight. Four turnovers for Boston and two early fouls for Horford. Nice pass. Leonard the pocket feed and Ibaka finishes on the roll. He's the complete player. Offense, defense, yes. He'll make the play. Just get open. He'll read you and he'll get you the ball. A little stiff on. <laughs> Green hits the three. Nick Nurse, Toronto's first year head coach. Very exciting about the three-point shooting. Leonard. There's your trap. Hops into the lane just shed Hayward for two. Now the forearm just moved a six foot eight guy three feet and we call that spacing. <laughs> Valanciunas sets the feet, doesn't get the roll. Leonard amongst two Celtics comes up with it and then gets fouled by Smart. You have to pay attention to him. You know they call guys, you know, they sneak around, you don't pay attention. He always moves to the right place. Leonard a pull up three is good. Kawhi oh. Leonard feeling very much in rhythm here in this second. Now, we were saying, well, this is only game two, but, well, everything is a practice with these two guys. Four, hey, they both got to get to the conference finals and some pressure to get to the finals here. Leonard oh, to the rim with go. the two-hand flush. Now, with Hayward out of the game, Brown is matched up with Leonard, and if you notice, in, even in the first half, Leonard played, uh, I'm sorry, Brown played him twice beautifully off the dribble, but that time that was an explosion. Leonard facing up on Morris. 
Leonard hits the jumper. He throws it. With, with Morris on him, he knows he can take Morris, but as soon as he went, you could see Morris step back, created the space. Right, here's your, here's your, let's see what happens here now. Did he get the double team? He did not. Oh, he took advantage. Come on. You, you, you've got to double team that and force him to make the pass. Siakam scoots it to the corner. Leonard on the move, trying to work Tatum, and Jason Tatum is called for the foul. I think we're all excited about that matchup. Leonard and Tatum, Smart, looking to take Siakam. Smart to step back. Raptors will live with that. No, no, they're, they're, you're absolutely right. That's a good call. Leonard oh, weaving God. through traffic. How about that? Right through the double team. Both guys never thinking that he's going to do it. Each of these teams won their opener. Celtics against Philly. Toronto against Cleveland as Leonard got Irving in the air and able to draw the whistle after some nice looking handles displayed by Leonard. Lowry finds oh, Leonard! Man. Toronto on top! Great the ride by Lowry and getting behind the basket. How about the movement by Kawhi Leonard from the top on the right side into the paint to create the pass. Smart. Working the post against the smaller He's Lowry. Gotta take him. He's got to take him. Smart does, but couldn't finish. See, don't shoot the fade away. Take him strong. Go strong to the hole. Van Vliet finds Leonard. Wide open. A three. You bet. Not bad for a guy who struggled in the first half. They were gone lost. Leonard has it on the block. Uh, he's reading. See, he's reading. Where's the double team? Leonard elevates and hits. Now, he's 6'7", the other guy is 6'8 to 6'9", and he just took his time. No double team, I'm doing my fade. The Toronto Raptors outlast the Celtics in an entertaining contest. Raptors against Charlotte last year as Ibaka denies Marvin Williams. They swept Charlotte last year. 4 nothing, and as we know, there's been a history as Leonard drills it between these two teams. There was a time when Charlotte was one of those teams that just provided all sorts of trouble. Well, those were the ugliest games of all time for the Toronto Raptors. Even Air when the Raptors yeah. were, you know, having great seasons, they struggled against Charlotte. Oh boy, a little rest, and Kawhi Leonard is ready to go. It's just like you. Yeah, no, I wish. It was interesting, you see a lot of away from the ball fouls mm -hmm. on the weak side, right? Yeah. Back cuts as Kawhi Leonard drills a jumper. Where and freedom of movement is being taken away. Correct. When he says it's like family, sometimes you roll your eyes or take it with a grain of salt, but San Antonio has proved that that is true. This is an unbelievable organization finally spreading its wings for the rest of the NBA. Yeah, they have been over time. There's no question about that. You think about a Mike Budenholzer in Atlanta now in Milwaukee, 41. And I think he's going to make a big difference yeah. for that organization. We'll see them a week from tonight. You're giving the advantage to a small guy in that situation. When I, I, that, That's a call I'm just not in favor of. How about that move? I like that right there. Oh, that's not bad. A little <laughs> this, a little that, and then the three by Leonard. Notice how, how much more comfortable he is with his shot versus what we saw in preseason and even game one. Great job by Green. Here's Leonard driving, kicking. Green the three. Got it! From on Gamba Here's Lowry over to Leonard. The Raptors lead continues to grow, and the three is good as Leonard knocks it down. You see that one dribble he took, Matt? A little forward, body language like he's going to go, but he stays right there and knocks it in. Leonard up top, Zeller trying to guard him. Kawhi driving, dishing. Green got it from Binbrook. How about that? Have those two guys played together before? What a creation. Outstanding. As Leonard drills it. Billy Hernan Gomez has played well off of the bench. Nine points, five rebounds, ten minutes. Kawhi. With a three, and it's good. Matty, bucket and bucket. He just freezes his defender. If you look at the space he creates with almost little movement, but the threat of putting that ball on the floor, it's amazing. 
Here's Kawhi on the feed. Leonard with a left-handed slam. He has 77 points through the first three games as a Raptor, the most ever in franchise history. Batted away by Leonard. The no look. Oh, what a sweet dish. Kyle finds Siakam off and running off of the defense. Yeah, Kyle playing with so much energy. That defense is fueling this team, and that was just a beautiful pass. Kyle Lowry putting on a clinic in that point guard position. What a start for the Toronto Raptors. Back home tonight against the Minnesota Timberwolves. 4-0 record tonight could match their best ever start back in 2015-2016. Tangerine Raptors basketball is on the air beneath the CN Tower in the Scotiabank Arena. Expecting a full house here tonight. Minnesota coming off of a victory at home, Jack, against Indiana. 101-91. Raptors coming off of be their best game of the season against Charlotte. Dominant performance. Tough angle that time. Siakam around. Taj Gibson. Andrew Wiggins, who is not playing tonight, for only the second time Jack in his career. Give him credit. And, He's durable. Yes. Iron Man. And then Carl Anthony Towns. Very pointed remarks as Kawhi Leonard. Nice move into the basket. Change of pace that time, and he's an explosive finisher in there. Backing in, Leonard, and then it's denied. Good recovery by Okoji. Nice Okoji, a rookie, and a Georgia Tech. Getting the start for Andrew Wiggins. Clock is down, power move, wow. Kawhi Leonard on the inside. And he got up into him a little too aggressively on the baseline. Kawhi Leonard just went right past him. Koji has it denied and then it reaches in in a foul. Leonard gets separation from Butler with a hop step and then fading, knocks it down. Siakam as Gibson trips. And they're going to find Ibaka. Swing it, Leonard. Here's Danny Green. Thought about it. Jumping out his cat. Now back over to Leonard for three. Rack it up as Leonard knocks it down from Milton. Terrific ball movement. Danny Green, Pascal Siakam, Kawhi Leonard, a clean look. And the Raptors sharing the rock, getting good shots, playing as a team together. Everybody's touching it. Danny Green, a little draw and kick. Kawhi Leonard, dial it up. Hello. Lead pass here, Siakam. Ball in, finds Leonard, flips it up and through with a finger roll. Well, that's the playmaking of Siakam. He can get it up the court quickly, and he's a willing passer and an improved passer as well. Leonard Kawhi steadies it all as he drills it. Kawhi Leonard's like, all right, you guys aren't making your shots. Give me the rock. I'll 14. make it. He has such a lower body strength. And when he gets his legs into his shot, his mechanics are excellent. Yes, Great. Right. Oh, my goodness, what a play. Diving stop by Leonard. Oh, and you got to show that. I mean, that is tremendous recovery defensively. Watch this play by Kawhi Leonard. Overplay, overplay. Oh, my goodness, what a tremendous play. Did not give up on a play. Chases him off the line. I mean, that's a, that's a tremendous defensive play. Here's Leonard on the move with a slam dunk. Hey, hey, those are impact plays on both sides of the ball. How about that? Koji guards Leonard. Leonard backing in, clock down to two. Tough shot, and he makes it. Woo. Well, young man, welcome to the NBA. <laughs> Leonard's got 18. There's Leonard fading, rolls around. He's got 20. Well, and the rest of the Raptors have 39. So to say that he has had a major influence on the Raptors' success tonight is an understatement. There's Leonard driving. He's got 22. Well, like Nick Nurse said before the game, Andrew Wiggins really becomes the X factor. Butler, offensive foul. And that's just hustle on the part of Kyle Lowry. Here's Leonard from the elbow. 25 points. Tell you what. He's wheeling and dealing, shooting a high percentage, 11 to 17. He hunted that shot down, didn't he? Towns, no. And good defense that time and swatted away. JV right there, and then Leonard from behind swats well, it away. Here's Leonard, sidestep, Jay. Wow. 
27. And the twine didn't even move. Uh, last two. I tell you what, last two nights he's dialing it up, man, yeah. is he? Yeah. He's 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 got nice elevation, nice lift, nice pop on his shot. He's a real deal. He's getting to the apex of that shot and finishing. Look at that. Steal. He passed Kyle. And great job by Kyle Lowry shielding Rose. Good point there. You know, so you get quality post-ups or, or dives to the hoop. Ooh. Leonard, how about that? Leonard goes in for the slam in midair, adjusts to a finger roll. He's got 29. Leonard just two free throw attempts, going to work, clock down, fading, good. 31. I mean, it's 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 like everything is in slow motion for him, Jack. They get the switch. Rose guarding Kawhi Leonard. Clock down. Leonard now making a move. Fading. Shot good. He's got 33. Best in a Raptor uniform in his early career as a Raptor. Meanwhile, the Raptors, Kyle Lowry and Danny Green. That's the backcourt, the front line. Pascal Siakam, Kawhi Leonard, and Jonas Valanciunas starting rather than Serge Ibaka, who started most of the season so far at center. 4-3, Siakam. Offensive rebound, Kawhi to Danny Green. I don't think I have to tell Maverick fans about his no. potency from the three-point line. This time it's Barnes defending Kawhi. Three different players have been matched up on later in this game so far as Green drains another three. That's what I was talking about, Mark. He's unselfish as a player. Kawhi Leonard, that is. He's going to find open people. Four minutes in, it's been all Toronto. They lead by 10 on the line drive jump shot by Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi makes a quick move. A dig by J.J. Matthews trying to hold him out of the paint. Can. This is tough. The defense was tough as well. Developing three on one. And it is broken up by Lorenzo Brown. And the Mavs chase after the loose ball, but the Raptors have it. Miles, a corner three. A three on one turns into a three at the other end for the Raptors. Long two, Leonard splash down. So he lures you to sleep. He's ready to shoot the basketball while it's in his hand. So you got to really be aware and get up and challenge that. Leonard, contested pull-up, goes in anyway. That's his favorite shot. I mean, he's very comfortable with that little step back and shooting right over the top of you. Kleba, another three. Same spot as a moment ago. This one is on the money. Five-point game again. Kleba has really given, given Dallas a lift. Leonard answers. Leonard's back in the game, and down he goes again at this time. His desperation flip up comes with a whistle. And to Kawhi. Leonard on the post up. Matthews trying to fight him off. They're going right back to Kawhi Leonard. Against Matthews. Good challenge. Leonard still scores on one of his favorite spots and favorite moves. Leonard over Finney Smith. Got to his spot. Yes, he did. To his spot. He's made a lot of tough shots this evening. Matthews blocked by Leonard on a three. Jump shot, J.J. in and out. Who put the lid on the Dallas basket five minutes ago? Leonard to a bucket for a slam dunk. Wyatt Leonard, shot clock down to five seconds. Able to work away from Matthews. He's fouled and will shoot a pair. First team in the NBA to 6-0, the Toronto Raptors. We're running tonight from Scotiabank Arena. Second of back-to-back -back games for both teams. The Raptors suffering their first loss of the season. That was last night to the Milwaukee Bucks. The last remaining unbeaten team in the NBA at 7-0. Green coming over with Leonard. And that trade with the Spurs, of course, DeMar DeRozan. Going to San Antonio. That's the second turnover already on Simmons. Maxwell's doing a pretty good job of getting back. You can see both times Ben had it with his foot on the gas. They're able to get back and stop him. 
But I like to work pick and roll with Ibaka. First they did it with Lowry. Now doing it with Leonard. There's Charge getting two. And Dario, he could use some easy hoops. He struggled again last night. In charge of Leonard. Terrific matchup. And Kawhi Leonard has a ton of stuff. We drove right, saw Joel, and then released it with the left. Nice little kiss off the glass. Wow. Leonard yet to play in back-to-back -back games, so he did not play last night in Milwaukee. His sixth contest in eight games so far this year for Toronto. Ben Simmons gets to the goal, gets his first bucket. Last night powered the Sixers with a season high 21. 15 of those points coming in the third. Leonard, an excellent three-point shooter at 45 and a half percent. Now Covington matching Wits with Leonard, the corner three from Valanchunas, and he gets the roll. Jonas Valanchunas has popped off the bench here, and in nine minutes has supplied 13 points. Leonard. Eight for Leonard, who averages a shade under 27. I don't think you could foresee the kind of player he's turned into. I mean, finals MVP early on in his career, then becomes a leader of the San Antonio Spurs and the lead organization. Hard work pays off. Tough night for Simmons, his sixth turnover of the game. J.J. Redick again started the second half alongside. Ben Simmons. Joel Embiid in the middle as the Sixers gave it up. Too much telegraphing of passes. Yep, they have 14 in intermission, add one to that total. Leonard, wow, a pretty move and a beautiful finish. The reverse by Kawhi Leonard, who now has 18, and the Raptors by 20 for the first time. Covington missing the three, and here comes Siakam, who indeed has been a problem. Leonard on the run, and he'll get one more at the line. Now T.J. McConnell with a steal, though the seven-footer Valanchunas is looming. Fultz forcing the issue. Siakam, they nice save to Valanchunas. And here comes Leonard. T.J. would have probably thought about waiting for guys to come to help out. Too easy. Nice spin move. Bigger, stronger. And he just made a nice compact move. Oh, bursting in. Leonard now... They're going to count that, and a foul as well. Kawhi finds Serge with a good look, and he drills it. Ibaka's got 16. Simmons behind the back. Loses it. Kawhi Leonard with the poke. Leonard right there. Here's Pascal. Kawhi Leonard, thank you very much. Now down to four on the shot clock. Kawhi, right side step three. Rack it up. Bucket in. Book it from Timmons. Kawhi, he's got 31. Third time this season he has scored 31 or better. As the homestand continues, the challenges get no easier. Still looking to establish the footing in the intensely competitive Western Conference, the Suns cast their focus on one of the top teams in the East when the Raptors, led by Kawhi Leonard, pay their only visit to the Valley. It's the Phoenix Suns and Toronto Raptors here on Fox Sports Arizona. Leonard feeding Valanciunas, little head and shoulder fake. He'll do that. He is a big man that can definitely score in the paint. Four on the shot clock, Van Fleet lets it fly. Leonard on the rebound and quickly fires it up and in. Booker looking back at the shot clock. Just has to shoot a difficult fadeaway shot. Anderson was able to get it quickly up on the rim, but was too far under and couldn't get enough spin on it. Kawhi Leonard was about a foot or two away from Devin Booker guarding his own man, and he reached in and bothered Devin Booker on that shot. He actually touched the ball on the way up. One of the reasons they call him the claw. Those long arms and massive hands from Leonard as he hits there. As Holmes can't hit the little baseline push shot. Simmons just said, hey, what, what I found out, what I realized is I've got to take better care of the basketball. As Leonard showing you another layer to his game as he hits the triple. He's able to switch back on Leonard, just 
Kawhi. They're just going, they're just going to Kawhi. He's gotten off to a slow start. Mm -hmm. and I guess they're saying now this is your last six minutes. And so they've given him every touch, every time down. Lowry. Able to sneak down the lane. Yeah, Suns watching Kawhi Leonard. And that's why you want your star to get hot, right? Last few minutes, the Raptors have really extended their defense. Getting hands in passing lanes as they force another Suns turnover here. Leonard waving him off. He's got the smaller cannon on him. And then looking for the three-point play. I mean, look, that's confidence, right? Aiden goes over the top of Alan Judas, and then Leonard, with those strong hands, rips it away. Right. And then just slams it down. And Leonard rarely uh, talks on the court. He's screaming in one on that one. And Nick Nurse is going to be wishing for the technical foul. I think he felt this player Leonard was fouled, but you uh, see there. Oh, it looked like the Aiden got a little ball in hand. Leonard quickly recognizing. Just take matters into his own hands and count the basket. How did he make that shot? I mean, he banked that shot in from the middle of the court. Eight. Well, it just seems like he's just a tad quick on that shot lately. I mean, man, it was just one great rhythm initially. And Igor Kokoskov sees the flurry coming for the Raptors. Leonard inside, grabbed by Ariza. Hayden backing down, will hand it off to Ariza. Hayden on the drive and has it blocked by Leonard. That'll leave 1.4 remaining for the Suns to try to get a shot away. With all the, the information that is put in scouting reports, it's that kind of detail that's also made available to opponents. And that is you trying to get this Suns team on their heels. Turn it over though, right? I mean, that's, that's the issue now, Kayla. It's just jumping in the air, making passes against a team that is opportunistic. See what the Suns have got the tank here the last 417. Ellen Shunas. It's up. That's a strong from Kawhi Leonard. I mean, he moves people out of the way by staying low. Thought a tremendous outing by the Suns. Fought hard. The crowd was really into it. I think they respect what they saw here tonight. Something to build on for the Phoenix Suns. We welcome you to Sacramento as the Kings return home after a three and one trip. And boy, the Toronto Raptors, 10 up and one down. The opponent on NBC Sports California, powered by Xfinity. Buddy, an open corner three. Not going to miss many of those. Got to be a little alarm. That's two possessions in a row. The Raptors have got the, down the floor first. They're looking to step on the pedal, Nate. And there's Nemanja Bialica picking up his first foul. Willie, blocked. Kyle Lowry, nine points in this first half, four assists. That's the first basket for Kawhi Leonard, and it's the largest lead of the game for Toronto at nine. Trumpert gets back on Leonard, and Kawhi Leonard starting to heat up. He's now got ten. Leonard. Another three, Danny Green. Nicely done. You got to load up on Leonard. They find the open man and knock it down. That's his 31st of the year. He's eighth in the NBA in three pointers made. Boy, right, buddy can't buy a basket. 57 46. And we don't say that very often. No, he's been fantastic as of late. Uh oh. This is what you got to be uh, so careful of. Because, you know, Toronto, you know, you can turn your head and you're down 20. Kawhi Leonard with 13 points. He's only made two field goals, but he's made a living from the foul line. He's 8 of 8 from the stripe. That's his third basket. 78-65, buddy. And a chance for a four-point play as the foul is on Kyle Lowry. Oh, boy. And they have Kawhi Leonard, and the Kings don't. Woo, man, that is a big call delivering at the basket. Boy, he's good. I mean, you know, everyone 
talking about Kawhi Leonard last year and not playing. And, you know, is he healthy? He looks real healthy to me, Doug. Yes, he does. Fundamentals right there. Oh, boy. He is so good. Smooth, polished. I mean, he's just, he's got everything. Yes, sir. Well done. A little floater running away to your right. Now Leonard, one-on-one -on -one with Willie. Three on the way. We've seen that before over the years. That's Kawhi Leonard with 25, and the lead is back to 10. Super fundamental. Super, super fundamental. From the newly named Scotiabank Arena in beautiful Toronto, it's time for New York Knicks basketball. Presented by Chase as this afternoon, the Knickerbockers visit the Toronto Raptors. Ibaka bringing it up, showing his dexterity. Look at Neil Aquino. Fight under, fight through, fight over screens. Leonard back out. Siakam tries another three. That's good. Siakam, as we mentioned, not a good three-point shooter so far this season. 16%. He's made a couple this afternoon. Leonard gets inside and fouled by Dotson. Leonard hasn't scored in 10 minutes. A defiant Leonard that time. He knew they dotted along the baseline. Siakam. Pass inside to Leonard. Leonard lays it up and in. Not a good sign. They're breaking down the interior D of the Knicks now. Previously Lowry. This time Leonard. Leonard foul. As Dotson moved a little bit on that fake. That's his second. Although Dotson saying, wait a minute. I played that well. Shot clock at five. Leonard with Dotson on him. He's going to have to put it up. One dribble, jump shot. That's a pretty move from Kawhi Leonard. Dotson has to learn to stay on his feet. He went for the initial fake. That's why Leonard was open. Cantor off the dribble, finds Trier. Good intensity here. Trier stolen from behind by Kawhi Leonard. There's those hands. Gets inside. Trier got a piece of it. Leonard gets it back. Foul. And he'll go to the line. We've seen a relentless pursuit by Trier, folks. Danny Green lines it up. Not that time. Leonard grabs the offensive board. Kicks it out. Siakam. His three-pointer is good. Siakam with his third three-pointer of the afternoon. He's had three all season prior to today. Raptors, they've won six consecutive on Saturday afternoon. The best part of that, not only the win, but this starting five here did not play in the fourth quarter. Kawhi able to handle it, just turns around and calmly drills it to make it a one-point game. Leonard up fake, cut off by Johnson. Here's Serge Ibaka, gives it back over to Kyle. Ibaka at the line, clock down. Leonard escapes trouble, steps into it, and connects. Nice movement, a lot of patience right there. Be able to lift the D. And still, even though he made that move, Matty, he still had Anthony Davis with a hand on that shot. Leonard off of the miss, finds Lowry back to Leonard, sharing and caring. <laughs> nice, you gotta love that. Look at this, it's that defense. That's beautiful basketball right there, folks. That's how you run a break. Off of your D, no less. Leonard plus the foul on the J. Kawhi, three-point play. Kawhi, 10 points. Siakam has 10. Here's Kawhi, three, good. Tied at 50. Leonard's got 14. Yeah, he just seems to get it going at the right times. Here's Kawhi. Strong take. Abaka open. Three, Swiss. Bucket and book it. Green with it. He's going to launch. Nearly banked it in. Long rebound scooped up. Here's Leonard. Kawhi, stutter step. Backing in. Takes it in the paint. And a foul. Strong yeah, move. Yeah, that's a little bit of a kind of, Kawhi looks over. Just says, okay, now there was it was like multiple times, right? Yeah, and, and watch what he does here. He gets down here. He turns his head and looks. Okay, no Anthony Davis. I'm going in for business yeah. right there. It's on Wesley Johnson. Johnson a two in and out. I mean, that all started... Because Siakam was just brilliant guarding Davis. They couldn't get to him. Danny Green, the three. Go Green! Drills it. Beautiful Danny setup of Kawhi Leonard. Seven minutes to go. Holiday off the bounce. No, Davis cleans up. See, that was great help by Leonard. 
Unfortunately, that leaves Davis wide open. Danny Green's got to step up and do the body on him. Kawhi bodying up on Holiday and a foul. He'll head to the line. Kawhi with 20 points. And that is the eighth time in the 10 games that he has played. Pelicans up 124 108, and it took massive nights from Davis. He had 23 and 20, 25 and 20. Timeout taken, 132 to go. And a huge effort by the Pelicans tonight. Backcourt. Tremendous a combined 59 points between Holiday and Moore for 16 assists and 25 and 20 out of Davis. Robinson gets two or three. Yes, the son of Glenn Robinson. Yeah. The old Purdue guy right there. Great Big jump dog, shot. Right? Big dog. Played for many years in the NBA. Oh. Kawhi Leonard plus the foul. And Leonard coming off. Of a 20 point performance against the Pelicans, although it didn't shoot the basketball necessarily at a high rate, was 7 of 20, and he takes it right to the rim. Tell you what, Matt, I like the energy already. You know, still, the Raptors still trying to get it going, but the energy is a different feel than what we saw in the last two games. Kawhi Leonard ties it up at 7. Pistons lost to the Charlotte Hornets 113 to 104 this past Sunday, and a big game for. Tony Parker, who is 11 of 18, and Campbell Walker at 24, and laying it up and through. Oh, and Leonard loved that ball movement right there, Matt. Quick passes, setting up Leonard for that little hesitation, and then the move. Oh, I'll tell you what, if you're scouting the Toronto Raptors, if you saw what New Orleans did the other day, you would try to push that ball up yeah. the floor at every opportunity. Nice job there, tell you what, He is in rhythm right now. Kawhi Leonard. Has been sensational here early on. On the dribble handoff, knocked away by Leonard. Loose ball, scooped up by Kawhi. Kawhi to Siakam, unselfish. And a two-handed slam for Pascal. And you know, he, Kawhi could have taken that one. He gave it to the young fella, get him going. And you know, Pachulia better watch out. Kawhi Leonard is going to be looking to pick the ball to his hands. He's got some Golden State memories there. <laughs> <laughs> and Kawhi with another steal. Scoops it up. Dismissed. Shot doesn't go. Leonard with another rebound. That's his fifth rebound. And he finds Siakam. Five rebounds for Kawhi Leonard. That's a great job on the rebound, Matt. Clearing the ball ahead with the dribble, pushing it ahead, and grabbing that opportunity in transition to pass. Griffin wants to have a big night. Shot doesn't go. And a rebound for Kawhi Leonard. He took Siakam using his strength right into the post. And what a great pass by Leonard, his third assist. And Siakam, another layup. And the Raptors are getting what they want on the inside. Kawhi, bullet guards of Kawhi, makes a move, double comes, kick to Green. Danny thought about it, gives it up now to Leonard. Bullet guards him, jab step, takes him to the short corner, pulls up, sweet touch. Man, he is sweet just, touch. So good on that off the dribble oh. jumper, straight up, straight down. Here he is with the rebound at the other end. Here's Kawhi Leonard, two-handed slam. Defense leads to offense. And the Raptors, their largest lead, 60-49 with 107 to go. Raptors with the advantage. Here's Kawhi Leonard with a sweet touch. He's got 19. Just so easy. Entry pass. Leonard. Oh, nice. Oh, there's the look. Monroe with a layup. Leonard with another dime. Here's Kawhi driving. That's a foul right there. I don't know how they don't call that. Kawhi, great move. And that's exactly what you want to do. You Questionable call at one end. Come right back and try to get the call. Here's Kawhi oh. driving left hand. What a move. That's a guy that was not going to be denied right there. Leonard into the front court. Into the paint for the time. Oh, man. Love that move. Put that ball down low to get into the seams right there. Just elevates for the jumper. Call the own. Shot up and good. And Kyle Lowry can't believe it. The Pistons win it. And Dwayne Casey's return to Toronto. The Toronto Raptors, the Boston Celtics. What a way to kick off our NBA Friday presented by State Farm.
a sold out TD Garden. Two powerhouses from the East meeting for the second time this season. Siakam, oh, gorgeous move from Siakam off the glass. Hey, listen, this guy is definitely in the candidate for most improved player. Ibaka well contested and okay. still nails it. Horford came out, but Serge Ibaka, who's averaging a career high 17 and a half a game, it's his first bucket. Now here, see, he'll one-on-one -on -one you. You're not going to double-team him? He'll put that all night long. They'll run him into the post, Mike. That's what they did in the first game when he had 31-10 and 10 against them in Toronto. Leonard, a beautiful pull-up jumper. No, no, come on. Uh, there, there's nobody that could stop that, okay? Green whips the pass on an OB. Line drive misses. Rozier goes high. Ooh. And take oh, it well. back, Kawhi Leonard. Now at the top, remember, we showed you the steals, he's always in the top 10 in steals. Leonard, the soft touch. Now, if you haven't seen Leonard play, uh, he does this every night now. You know, you, you know right? Leonard gets inside. With long arms. Now, see, he can shoot over smart. He's got a couple inches on him. Leonard against Morris. Steps back, jumper, got him. You know, Leonard, one of the incredible stats that I've seen, Leonard in his career has more steals than personal fouls. That's incredible. Yes, it is. That, that's, that's a terrific, a terrific state. Both, both of them are magicians, and, you know, you hate to say one's got a better handle than the other guy. That's a good point. You mean, yeah. Irving missed both free throws, and we have a foul down the other end. He's not going to be playing 35 minutes a game, but he can play more than the 26 he's been playing as Leonard draws the foul. The strength to get it up and in. And a chance for three-point play. And they're getting open shots in the painted area. And unfortunately, a lot of them are missing. Oh, how about that move? With Baines straight all over him. Kawhi Leonard banks it home. Toronto back up by eight. Got to, got to read the double team if it comes. Leonard scoots inside, lays it up and in. Now see, Horford was late. Horford was late. Kawhi Leonard fakes. Drives again, nice spin move there, and draws the foul. Leonard got hit. Leonard jab step, shoots over Morris, drills it. Kawhi Leonard with 28. Irving again, the penetration, off the glass, misses. Hartford keeps it alive. Leonard comes up with it. Here comes Leonard, kicks it out right, open for three. It's good. The lawn right from downtown. Now this poor guy he hasn't had any shots in the game. And he takes a crucial one like that with a minute 30 to go. Morris on Leonard. Four to shoot. Leonard the drive. Puts up the shot. Won't go. Rebound. Harper. Overtime. Well, give, give Morris a ton of credit. Leonard gets into the paint. Adjusts it. Oh. Banks it home. <laughs> now that was some athletic move, right? It looked like he was hanging there in air. So strong with the ball. And welcome to beautiful downtown Orlando on this Tuesday before Thanksgiving. The Amway Center tonight, a terrific NBA matchup. The team with the best record in the NBA against one of the hottest teams in the NBA. It's the Raptors and the Orlando Magic. Leonard against Vucevic. Kawhi Leonard. Three-point percentage only at 34%. Knock that one down. Leonard has his shot rejected, but a foul is called. Leonard got past Gordon and puts it in. He is so good. The quickness and then the hesitation on that one, David. Vucevic trying to give it back to Fournier, and it is stolen by Leonard. Lowry fumbles it away and out of bounds. An unforced error that time. Nick Vucevic is the Eastern Conference Player of the Week. You if can't, he's, can't if throw he's a buzzer in, on that. No, you can't do that. You're kind of grumpy tonight. I'm not grumpy. Kawhi Leonard with the jumper. You know, ever since we established that everything is something and we, there are levels, uh -huh. I'm just trying to hold. I want to be consistent, right? Leonard hooks it Kawhi over Leonard. Vucevic. Kawhi Leonard. Double figures now, 10. Serge Ibaka with his first field goal since the first quarter. Kawhi Leonard in those high pick and rolls with Ibaka. It's a tough cover. Leonard guarded by Gordon. 15-footers good by Kawhi Leonard. 
He's one of the better mid-range jump shooters in the NBA, near 50%. Leonard using an Ibaka screen, that high pick and roll, so tough to guard. Two more points for Kawhi Leonard. Five minutes to play, a one-point game. Leonard. Oh, he just got it to go and a foul on Gordon. Leonard got the screen. Aaron fighting through. Ibaka fires over Vucevic. It's good. Serge Ibaka. A dozen. Fournier flashing into the middle. Blocked away by Ibaka. Green ahead to Lowry. Leonard. Over Aaron Gordon. Boy, what a tough shot. By Aaron right there. He was close enough. It almost fouled him on the shot. Under a minute left. Lowry using the screen. Back to Ibaka. 20 footers good. Serge Ibaka running the pick and roll with Kyle Lowry. Seven seconds. Fournier against Green. Fournier on the. Woo! He slams it with authority. That's how you take it strong to the hoop. Lowry will inbound. Everybody on their feet. Green firing. Got it. With a half a second left and no timeouts for the Magic. Vucevic. And that's it. Toronto wins it 93-91 to on a game-winning shot by Danny Green. Team warming up, though. After losing three last week, they've won three in a row. Back home at Scotiabank Arena tonight with their 15-4 record. Could be the best start ever after 20 games tonight. The Wizards are 6-11. and 11. That's almost hard to believe. More on that in a moment. Bradley Beal knocks it down. Just something about the Raptors brings out his best, although Scott Brooks said, look, at the end of the day, he's a great player, and he is. Here's Kawhi Leonard, top of the key, drills it. Wall, out of bounds pass. Here's Beal, jumper. Rare miss from, from him. As Siakam's going to handle it out in transition, Kawhi Leonard. Jay, good! That is Sweet a touch. tough shot. I mean, Oubre, pretty solid shot contest that time. But he just dialed that baby up and shot it with confidence. Porter gives it up. Here's Bryant on the inside. And how about the play early on? Uh, Thomas Bryant. Well, he's more active, I'll tell you what, than Dwight Howard is in terms of being energized in the lane, challenging people. Sweet touch, Kawhi. Lowry gets up. And not good. There is a collision underneath the basket. Soaring through the air, throws it down. Siakam, Leonard, Abaka, Miles, and Lowry. Kawhi fouled. Leonard finishes. Well, that was beautifully dialed up by the Raptors. They get a mismatch in terms of the size differential. Leonard driving on Green. And what a move by Kawhi Leonard. He knew he had a new defender on him. He says, let me. Let me test this out right here. Sadoransky denied by Ibaka. Leonard. All the way to the rim. Nice little hesitation. Hot move to the rim. He's got nine in the quarter and 15. Leonard step back. Ray good. And All right, so let's get then Leonard. Let's get some stops now, right? Oubre, quick trigger three. No, Leonard with another rebound. That's his seventh. He has 18 and 7. Kawhi will bring it across the timeline, picked up by Wall. Screen set. They get the switch. Jumper over Wall, who had recovered. And now a timeout. Raptors on a 7 0 run. Here's OG. Open trick. Got it. Great OG. pass. Great line by Kawhi Leonard. Now that ball was a little lower. OG had to get the ball up into his shooting slot. 440 to go. Raptors lead by six. Oh, the wide shovel pass. OG finishing. Lowry sets a screen. They get a switch. Double wing. Swings wide open. OG. No. Second chance opportunity. Leonard with a rebound. That's his ninth. Good possession of the ball's humming. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's in his zone right now, Matty D. Back to Kyle. Up fake. Kyle in the paint, 
And it pops out, scooped up. Here's Kawhi. And he racks it up. He's got 25. Kawhi Leonard, 25 points, 10 rebounds. Double, double. Kawhi. Good. He's got 27. Are you kidding me? Are a surgical you approach. Kidding me? We got to show that again. The Raptors win it in impressive fashion. 125 to 107. Here's Kawhi Leonard. Leonard up fake short corner over Magruder, and the bucket is good. You just can't give him any room at all on that shot. He's always ready to shoot. Here's Siakam on the top. Oh, and it slams. Oh, stand up for that one, Leo. Stand up. I can't. Your body weight is all over me. James Johnson with it. I just felt like oh. I got dunked on that. Oh, Siakam now with another move. Lowry to Leonard. Leonard, three, good! He's got over 7,000 points now in his career. Green had three, and then the bench was shooting sharply. OG with three, Van Vliet with three. Delana pair. Here's Kawhi muscling his way in. And he just goes to work. Hard hat on. Yeah, With the steel toe boot. Wellington left open the three in and out, and Abaka grabs a rebound. Surge, 12 points, nine rebounds, four blocks the other night. Leonard right. underneath. Kyle Lowry just doing an unbelievable job of getting that ball to the floor. And that pass was right on the money. Leonard drives, continuation. He was in the act of shooting and a foul. He's going to be charged. Let him go, let him go. Save. Magruder, good. Nice job by James Johnson. And that pass. Here's Kawhi to the rim with a nasty slam. And so quickly up the floor. Miami was interested in Jimmy Butler, but then that dragged on a little bit too long. Philadelphia, and as you all know, come away with a great feed and the foul. I love that. Minute and a half into the second half. And Magruder with a three and Siakam with it. Here's Siakam now handling. Siakam sees the lane on a kick. Kawhi, Lowry, a wing three, and it's good. And a timeout taken by Eric Spolstra. The Raptors, their largest lead, 74-57. Leonard, double. Here's Siakam now driving, kicking. Kawhi lets it fly, and the three is good. And a great setup by Pascal Siakam. I mean, just drives the ball in, kicks it out. Nobody there to defend one. Quick move. Power move with a slam dunk. Uh, it's completely taking advantage of James Johnson, who likes to go mano a mano, challenging and getting too tight on Leonard. As soon as you give him an angle and reach, your balance is off, and that's when Kawhi makes his move. Kawhi Leonard's career scoring average against the Miami Heat better than 21 points is his second highest against any NBA team. And he's torching the Heat right now. Leonard with 24. The denial by Kawhi against Richardson. Richardson gets it back and then is able to get the bucket to go. Three and it's good. Look, Wade drills a three. He's got 21 against the Raptors. Like I said, he knows how to play the game. He's using his strength experience. Kawhi able to draw the foul on him right there. I'll tell you, you know who's going to need uh, a little help after this game? I think JV's going to need to go get a facial. Because <laughs> he has gotten one shot after the other. He's looking at the referees going, look, what do I got to do? I'm getting hit in the head. I'm getting hit in the face. I'm getting hit in the back of the neck. Shot doesn't go. Wins low. Here's Ellington. Three doesn't go. Bat it out. Wade with it. Wade. Wins low. Wade wanted a call. Looks at Tony Brothers. And Richardson and a foul. Kawhi diving, takes it away from Wade with a defensive play. Siakam right at Richardson. Oh, this Big time play. This guy's an absolute monster in transition. When he's coming at you and he gets up that ball up so high, you're not going to touch it. All started with the play of Leonard at the defensive end. Temple looks to feed it into the post. Spins, turns, and it's good. 
And you see the patience. You know, they're, you know Conley's going to get them down the floor. He'll get it down quick, but they settle them down and get what they want. Here's Kawhi Leonard. Nice move in the paint. That ends the 4 0 run coming out of the timeout by J.B. Bickerstaff. So all was originally selected third overall, Powell, that is, by the Atlanta Hawks and traded for Sharif. That was a big deal. Sharif Abdurrahim, I remember talking to Stu Jackson in Vancouver and saying, you know, you've got to make a deal. And Sharif Abdurrahim is the guy who's going to get you what you need. Nice play. Serge Ibaka with a slam dunk. But Stu Jackson was reluctant to move Sharif. As soon as they moved to Memphis, they moved Sharif Abdurrahim, and all of a sudden they became a playoff team. Kawhi stays with it. So strong, powers his way in. And Green denied by Leonard. Gasol moves it. Corner three doesn't go. Siakam comes away with it. Well, that was great help by Leonard on Kyle Lowry down there. Pascal drives. Need some more of that right now. You need Pascal in the open floor attacking. Kawhi trying to get his game going. And Leonard now three of six. He's got seven points. When Kawhi Leonard, to wrap up that thought, and, and Gasol ended up having more conversations with Pascal about the elbow <laughs> that he thought that he took. But here he is with a three pointer, and it's good. And He's okay. a 13 point lead. But when Leonard was at the foul line, Nick Nurse called over Danny Green and Kyle Lowry and said, Hey, let's get into a zone. Kawhi with a strong take. And they got that zone, then they're able to come down, make a shot. Five seconds, four seconds. Spinning. And Green, no. Leonard with a rebound. Leonard now sprinting ahead with the dribble. A Baca the soft touch. That's so hard for a big man to do. Run the floor, gather, and then softly put it off the window. Right, how about Leonard where guys in pursuit from behind kept putting that ball out just in front and got rid of the ball. Perfect time to a Baca. Selden. Jumper, no. Taking the last couple of shots instead of working through Gasol. You can't forget about him, guys playing that well. Oh, what a big shot steady right there. Freddy ties it 105 105. Raptors get multiple stops. It's a 9 0 run. They don't turn it over. And the game is now even 105 105. Kawhi up fake on Anderson. Anderson knows him well from their time together in San Antonio. Five on the clock. Kawhi drives, kicks, corner three, splash. Beautiful pass by, Ky by Ka Kawhi Leonard to Kyle Lowry. Boy, how good has he been in this second half? Calmly trying to get some room. Tough angle. Yeah, great defense by Serge Ibaka helping out Fred. Here's Leonard. Finds Van Vliet, the corner three. Got oh, it back yes. to back. Corner threes. Lowry, now Van Vliet. Raptors, a six-point lead. 3.53 to go. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Conley nice finds pass. Temple. Three doesn't uh, go. Siakam Leonard with a great rebound. Job, Matty. Siakam came out there hard to force the miss. Here's Van Vliet to three. Got it. Big bucket. Steady Freddy. Steady Freddy's back in a big way, Matt. Leonard looking for a Baca. And he drills a three. Ibaka was supposed to come up in that sequence, but Leonard then, as that was developing, shook it off and drills the three. Raptors are 7 of 12 from three-point range in the quarter. On a 34-degree night, rather mild here in Toronto, we're at Scotiabank Arena for their 194th consecutive sellout the Golden State Warriors and the Toronto Raptors two of the top teams in the league the Raptors at 18 and four six straight wins Warriors 15 up seven down they've won three straight since they lost four in a row I let it looking for his shot He's played well by Jones but got it away what a tough shot his extension to get a high but more importantly he can go over either shoulder and shoot so as a defender you have to honor both moves and it's lowry hitting rather leonard hitting the three and 
that's where you see his game evolve. Not that he didn't take those shots before, but now he takes it with much more consistency. But he still does that on both ends of the floor, getting a nice block. Siakam able to take advantage on the break following the block. Marv, it's the only night of the year that I could wear purple velvet, so why not? Yesterday, though, Coach Steve Kerr told reporters that Stephen Curry plans to return from a groin strain Saturday in Detroit. Now, he's been out his last 10 games, and the team's just 5-5 five and five without him in the lineup as they struggle here in the first as well. Curry said he's ready to be playing again. A big part of that desire was to be part of this game against the Raptors, saying there was no better test than against the best team in the East. And particularly loves playing here because his dad, Del Curry, spent three years with the Raptors. Nice move here by Leonard and knocks it down. How about to run on a 9 of 11 from the field? Here is Leonard. The wide Leonard with nine points here at the start. He's hit four for four, including a three. The steal by Leonard. Three on one. Beautiful. Look who does it back. And leaves it home. What a play by the Raptors. Shot clock to five. Here's Leonard. Yes. What a start for Kawhi Leonard. A lot of Raptors at 18 and 4. That is the best record in the NBA. Two and a half games in front of Milwaukee. Three and a half over Philadelphia. If you look at the East, Kawhi Leonard now has 15 points. It's kind of mild, but I love the food. I had to go get some jerk chicken today, and I had to go get some chicken tikka masala. I don't know if you know what that is, but my Indian and Caribbean, the home of international food here. You gotta love I, I see. <laughs> and that is true, yes. And for good reason, as Leonard gets the rim. Leonard played by Bell, shoots the three and hits. So he is going a couple from downtown. Got clocked out of five. There's Leonard, and he will go to the line. Steve Kerr going with the lineup that started the game. This is Quick Cook with the runner. It's the best start in Raptors franchise history. While Golden State comes in at 15 and 7. They won three straight after that full game losing streak again without Curry, without Green. Leonard was blocked on that first attempt by Jones and came right back. And if you're the Raptors, if you're looking long game, you're thinking, hey, this could be a finals preview as Quinn lets one fly and misses it. But the Warriors don't have two of their best players. So it is no excuse for you. As Kawhi knocks down another three, not to try to win, and win emphatically to send a message. 27 points for Kawhi Leonard. Curry, who will make his return, according to Steve Kerr, Saturday at Detroit in game two of this five-game road trip. What's unusual about the road trip and things are certainly a change in the NBA as Leonard hits again. No back to backs on a five game road trip, which is a, a journey through the East. Here comes Lee, and he is blocked by Ibaka. Kept alive though, Thompson for three. Good box out by Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi got the big rebound, and though Thompson is going to check them, both Kawhi and Durant again embracing the moment for the big play, just like that by Kawhi. Leonard from downtown is now 13 to 20 for 35 points. Goes back to Leonard. There's Green for three. Yes. Once that matchup defensively, you gotta love it. Leonard over Durant. Kawhi wants that matchup offensively, you gotta love it. The new season high for Leonard. Oh, the steal steal, and Durant draws the foul. Leonard thought he had it. He's eight for eight at the line, making nine out of nine for 41 points. They're out of the seats here in Toronto. That three by Thompson would have tied the game. Instead, it's a six-point lead now for the Raptors. Durant for three. Yes! Oh! With 44 seconds to go. Raptors coming out of the backcourt. 
with a three-point lead. 25 seconds to go on the fourth. Here's Leonard. Four Warriors around the ball. Thompson hands to Durant. Steve Kerr says play on as Durant looked over at the bench. Here's Durant. Ten seconds. Goes to the corner. The feet of three. And it hits to tie it up. Kevin Durant dribbling into the corner to look for the tying shot. And he does just that. Timeout, Toronto. Kevin Durant has the last seven points for Golden State. Nine of the last 11 final seconds without a five. The game is tied. Here's Leonard. Leonard on the drive, kicks it back out. Two eight. 24, whether the buzzer went, then end regulation. And it's lost by Durant as Leonard got a piece of it and Durant was not able to recapture. And this will be their first win over the Warriors since March of 2014. Jaremko is able to hit a three. We're down to 2.6 remaining. And that's it. From the start of the season, it was six straight wins. Leonard got Jetty off his feet, but reclaimed it quickly. Now Leonard going to win. Loves those pull-ups, and he hits it. Silky smooth. Yeah, he has definitely changed the complexion of this team. They are much tougher uh, with him. I mean, and Siakam has really come a long way also. Here come the red shirts. You see, that's a lot to do with energy. The bench players have to come in with energy to keep things going in the right direction. Siakam, you'll live the three. Leonard got the offensive board, though, goes back up too easily. Nobody put a body on him. And Kawhi Leonard has a couple of hoops now. 12-10. Van Vliet tried it loose. Here comes Leonard. And a breakout for Toronto as Ibaka deposited. You gotta take care of the basketball. You cannot turn it over against a, a team of this high quality. They, they know what to do with turnovers. Here comes Alec Burke slashing. And look at Kawhi Leonard. Look at Kawhi Leonard, boy. Without fouling. Consumed it. He is a two-way player. <laughs> in the second quarter. As Sexton was well defended at the rim there. Leonard pulls up for three and hits it. Wow. And that's something, he, he, something he, he definitely definitely didn't have that in his game. Here comes Van Vliet's. Ibaka thought about the three ball. Leonard hiding behind the screen. Spins it home for three. So Kawhi Leonard now with 14 points. He fought over top of the screen twice. Leonard with a dribble though, extricated himself, put it up. Soft touch, looking for the end one. But that's what I like about Leonard's game. He goes at his pace. He doesn't, I don't care if you triple team him or what, he's not gonna go any faster than he wants to go. San Diego State, he was famous for getting keys to the gym and going in and working out at six o'clock in the morning and all he had for light was a lamp. Wow, and you know, he just religiously worked on his craft. Thompson keeps that dribble alive, gets inside off the palm of his hand, missed it. Here comes Leonard pushing, spread floor for him, goes to work. He was fouled, count the bucket. Wow. With force, Kawhi Leonard goes to the line looking for the end one. Sexton short and that jumped him. And the Cavaliers starting to miss some shots. Well, they're not, they're, they're Leonard not, squares up and hits the three. They're not taking good shots. They're not taking it within the system. They're just taking shots. Leonard going to work against the double team. Siakam slashing, scoring. Got to the goal rather easily. He's got 13. And the deficit is 19. Well, before that third period, coach was telling his team, we have to break down and guard and get to the basket, making sure that they remain aggressive. He said, if we cut it to 10, we will be in a good position to finish this game. What do you know, guys? It was 67-77. We'll see if they can finish. Well, a lot of contact there. Yeah. Good stuff, Angel. Big assignment for Junior here. Brown shouldn't have picked him off. Leonard gets to the hole, puts it in with strength. That's just sheer strength. Yes. He'll go to the free throw line. Crunch time, Leonard handles the ball to facilitate a lot. Dan sticks in. Leonard crossing over. Backing down, takes his time. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Yeah. Soft touch. <laughs> Not much else you can do. No, you're right. Balanchunas set that screen and lost his balance. Leonard a bump and hit. 
Boy, he's going to work now. Sure is. He's got 27. You're talking about a bigger guy that he's uh, being guarded by. He's uh, actually got 30 points now. Runner crossing over. Throws Jetty Osman, and he scored easily with a finger roll. Ooh, that was a quick move. Yep. He made that one little dribble going backwards, and that next step, he was almost at the basket. The Scotiabank Arena, a huge night north of the border here in Toronto, Canada. It's a homecoming of sorts for the Denver Nuggets' Jamal Murray, the favorite son from Kitchener, Canada. And he will lead the Mile High crew against the Toronto Raptors. Brady Heslip, Joel Anthony, as you My mentioned. My boys. Yep. Kyle Wilcher, post up. Oh! Oh! oh. Siakam, Sir Siakam! Okay, we're back to some style points on that one. I'll take that. Lowry looks ahead, finds Kawhi. He squares up, fires over Hernan Gomez, splash, drills him. And this is a good matchup for, even though Hernan Gomez got off a good start, here's a good matchup for Kawhi to use his strength against a young player. Pull up, Ray doesn't go, and Hernan Gomez with it, and then Kyle takes it away. Kawhi Leonard, finger roll. Sweet it is, an 8-0 run. Mike Malone wants a timeout. Here's Leonard up top. Screen set. They get the switch. Kawhi. <laughs> he is in rhythm right now. I told you, his handle is so tight. Leonard, nice move. Here's Leonard. Drives, attacks. Let's see what happens now. The focus, you're worried about JV. You're worried about Ibaka. That's going to help make that help a little bit slower. Nice job by Nick Nurse to give Kawhi an opportunity to drive. Kawhi just going to work. Strong move. He's got 16. Oh, I love that hesitation. But always, again, his head is up, and he's just ready for whatever you do. And when the defense paused, he just accelerated again. JV. And Raptors down by 7. 73-65. Leonard drills the shot. 73-68. Back to six. Leonard turns the corner. Kawhi J. Got it. He's got 21. You talk to folks in the Denver. Nuggets. See Akam guarded by Beasley. Ball fake. Drive. Kick. Leonard. Jumper. Good. Raptors up by one. How about that? Supreme confidence right there. He's had a couple of miscues. A couple of missed shots, but coming right back with a big one right there. Champions mentality. Shot clock down to 12. Murray trying to work with Jokic. Tough shot there, even with a bucket in his face. And a timeout taken by Toronto. 102, 101. Siakam, Kyle, Ibaka, sidestep. Over to Leonard. Danny Green, good defense by Denver. Green shot, no. Batted out. Scooped up. Danny again. One more time. And the Raptors need to foul, and they do. Raptors have a timeout. And they'll take their final timeout. It's a two-point game. 12 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. 103-101. And Fleet and Green. Lowry gets it in to Kawhi. Bill Sabana driving, fading, ties it up. Seven seconds to go. 103-103. And a foul is called by Pat Freer on Serge Ibaka. Jokic makes it, and now Denver leads. In Denver with the ball back. I, I don't know. Uh, I mean, that's hard. Yeah, to I know. That They're just definitely point. grabbing, but... A lot of contact at the end of the game. I mean, this is... That's just hard at this stage of the game to make that call. And a foul there, and he makes it no basket. 5.6 to go. Three-point game. Raptors will need a three to tie it up. Here's Kyle. Lowry. Three. And it doesn't go, and Denver wins their sixth in a row.
And a tough loss for the Raptors with the way that it played out with a foul called at the end off of the inbounds. It's been all access all day here in this beautiful city of Toronto. The city that currently has the team with the best record in the NBA, the 20 and 5 Toronto Raptors. And the Scotiabank Arena will be packed tonight as the Raptors will square off against one of the other elite teams from the East, the 17 and 8 Philadelphia 76ers. Simmons stripped by Danny Green, knocked out of bounds, and it was off Simmons' leg. So a turnover. Nice hands there from Danny Green. Now Danny Green, during his time in San Antonio where he won a championship, remember, he established himself as an elite defensive player and an ability to knock down open threes. He is anything but the other player in the deal. As Leonard knocks down his first, Kawhi Leonard and Green coming here to Toronto for DeMar DeRozan. And B stops. Back shot won't go. Gets it back again. Stripped by Lowry. Saved to Siakam. And Leonard is all alone. Kyle Lowry with some great hustle. And you know Kyle Lowry is going to be a dogged defender. Leonard leads in and knocks it down. By the way, it's also been a good start in Minnesota with their two new players in Covington and Sarge, the two Sixers that went to the Timberwolves as Raddick knocks down the jumper. Leonard left wide open. Kawhi Leonard from downtown drills the three, and Brett Brown wants to talk it over. And Fleet back up top. Leonard, three-pointer. That's good. You didn't talk about an efficient start to your night by Kawhi Leonard. Pascal Siakam drives inside to Ibaka, and he's fouled from behind by Chandler. The ironic thing with Butler is that as Chandler way outside. Butler right there, blocked by Kawhi Leonard. Thrown into the first row. The claw. This guy, his length, the arm, the wingspan. My goodness. Nice pass by Joel. Surprise, Ben doesn't finish. Leonard into the basket. Oh, had a little hesitation and then exploded at the rim. And the Raptors have tied it up. That seems to ignite their defense. Another turnover. Philadelphia, eight turnovers here in the second. And Anobi. And the Raptors retake the lead. Leonard. Banks it home easily. A few pass for Korkmaz. He had no shot down low. Mascala. Pace is certainly picked up. Danny Green to the rim. Left-handed block by Embiid. Leonard wide open. Backed away. Picked up by Leonard. Blocked by Embiid. Leonard gets it back and lays it up and in. Butler, three-pointer. That seems to be his favorite spot. That's where the two yeah. game winners came from. Talk about endearing yourself to a fan base right away. Leonard for three. 26 points for Kawhi Leonard. Four for four from three. You can't let him walk up into that, Mike. He's too smooth. I'm, I'm putting Indiana up there. Victor Oladipo's been out for a while. Mm. Pacers are really good. I don't know if they're at, they're not at the level of Philly and Toronto right now, and Boston and, and even Milwaukee. Hard to evaluate him without Victor Oladipo. Oh, oh man. Oh, cool. He made that look so easy, and that was a hard shot. Butler misses. Valanchunas quick outlet Van Fleet. Van Fleet goes right past Mascala. Good ball movement. Leonard wide open. Hits a three. Five for six from downtown for Kawhi Leonard. He's got 31. J.J. Redick fires away. Leonard the rebound. Nine boards for Leonard. To the rim. Kawhi Leonard gets them out of their seats. And the Raptors have blown this one open. Yeah, they are blowing this thing open on the defensive end. The claw. Kawhi not. Oh, my goodness. And the Raptors can dribble this one out. Another win for Toronto. A league best 21 and 5, including 11 and 3 at home as they dominate down the stretch and defeat the 76ers, led by their new star, Kawhi Leonard.
Raptors just four for 15. It's nothing the Nets are doing. Leonard drives and he'll head to the line. Damari Carroll and Alan Crabb there is going to be on Crabb. Siakam cut off. Hard to buy Dudley. Feeds it in the post. Here's Kawhi on a kick out. Lowry wide open. Praise good. And here they go. Excellent play by Kawhi Leonard. Didn't force anything. Drew three players. Three. Kawhi. I say his three point shooting has been on the mark. Last five games, 41%. Leo was five of six against Philly. What a play. And a great play there. Great anticipation. What a save. Kyle in the paint. Oh, and a Kawhi. And the How reward. sweet it is. Reward the guy that did the worst. Valanciunas JV wow. over top and a foul. Wow. On Allen. And so they've yet to really be able to separate themselves against teams that are in their situation. I mean, it's a tough spot for Sean Marks with what happened under. Billy King and the regime where they were well, going they for it all. Nothing, yeah. Leonard drills a three, and the Raptors lead by four, Good the basketball, largest Maddie. lead. Ball went down on the baseline to the corner, up and right across to the shooter. Here's Kawhi with a three. Good, he has been on fire. Smooth. From downtown. Oh, look at Leonard, right to the rim as Jared Allen will head to the scorer's table to check in. Kawhi turns the corner. Once again, on the inside, kicks it. Driving, Siakam. Tied at 87. Kawhi drives, kicks. They need this. Van Vliet, triple shot. It's a big bucket, that ends a 7-0 run. 325 on the clock, here's Kawhi. Jumper, sticks it. One point game. Just so cool. He said it doesn't become great deep until you secure the ball, and that's where we have to grow. And there's no question they secured it there, Eric. Kyle on the drive, kicks it, swings it. Green attacking, step through. Kawhi, corner three. Got it. His name is Kawhi Leonard. 9 0 run. Dinwiddie. Leonard locked in on him. Turns. Loses it, overtime. And Jay, there it is. They get them in that pick and, pick and uh, roll. They get the switch. Cole, oh, 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 with a left-handed slam. He says enough. Oh, my. Oh, wow. Look at CC Sabathia going on. And that was with a left. That was ridiculous. Raptors need to dial in here. Cost, Kawhi, turns the corner, kicks it, gives it back. Leonard, got it! Three-pointer Raptors up by one. Kawhi Leonard over the last two games is 10 for 12 from three-point range. Kawhi, Raptors back up by one. Soft touch. Under 10 of the shot clock, Raptors down by one, game clock. And five, Kyle now, Van Vliet, the brand no! Brooklyn ends their eight-game losing streak. Tonight we will watch two of the most riveting teams in the Eastern Conference, if not the entire NBA, and two of the game's most dynamic players and MVP frontrunners as the Bucks come to Scotiabank Arena for a rematch with the Toronto Raptors. Leonard on a handoff. Leonard powered through Lopez. Man, that was a strong move, and I'm surprised they didn't call a foul because Brook came down. But boy, oh boy, those wide shoulders and that strength of Kawhi showing it early. Oh, oh he's out! Kawhi Leonard, in that game one against the Raptors, the Bucs had seven players, seven with 10 or more points. Just over five minutes remaining, the Bucs let that one get away. Kawhi Leonard picked up by Eric Bledsoe. Now to the post, and Ibaka, Pat Connaughton, charged with defending Ibaka. And then Connaughton comes out to challenge Leonard's shot. Kyle Lowry, two hands wiping the jersey. That's a play call, I'm sure. They kick it to the corner. Three-pointer, Fred Van Vliet, third-year player from Wichita State. Middleton as Leonard. Play some stellar defense on the shot. 
Kawhi's the guy to be able to do it. There's no doubt, and he is, he's so disruptive. And then to have him versus the Philadelphia 76ers, 36 points the other night. That's Brooklyn, 32 points the other night, along with all that defensive activity. I mean, he is, talk about a two-way player. There is not a better two-way player, maybe ever. Danny Green, known for threes, and D also, he hits the triple. Oh, yeah. 10-0, Toronto run. run. How about that? Bledsoe from the opposite corner. That kid can rebound. He has a knack for the ball, particularly balls that seem to come off on three-point misses. Yeah, and that, and that was one of those plays that even the home fans, you could kind of hear the rumble a little bit like, oh, come, what, what was that? What are you doing, Serge? You got a rebound. Kawhi Leonard and a whistle. Kawhi Leonard, another one of those steals and a foul call. The Toronto fans with an MVP champ. Inbounded for Kawhi Leonard. Back outside for Ibaka. He hits the three. Budenholzer takes a timeout. Lopez got to Ibaka. But that was a heck of a shot. Toronto going with Lowry, Danny Green, and Fred Van Vliet at this juncture. Kawhi Leonard. One point game. Their core, Toronto's four highest minute guys have an average age of 30. The Bucks, highest minute four guys have an average age of 25. Kawhi Leonard, 17. 92 91, Milwaukee. The Bucks beat the Raptors in October by 15 points. You knew it would be tougher here. No whistle. Giannis defended. Malcolm Brogdon. Pretty good shot challenge by Ibaka. Three-pointer in transition for the lead. Fred Van Vliet, 94-92 Toronto. Kawhi Leonard gets the bounce. Toronto gets the lead. 20 points for Leonard. Under his average of 26.4. Middleton, Leonard knocked it away. It's going the other way. Off Middleton. Middleton gets by Ibaka and Green finds the open three-point shooter. Malcolm Brogdon tie game. Malcolm Brogdon, baby. Doing it again. Making the right pass. Knocking down the right shot every single night. 15 for Malcolm on the mantle. Defense. Forcing a tough pass by Leonard. A turnover, Brogdon, Middleton, Lopez. Excellent ball movement by Milwaukee. Another three, Brogdon. 100 to 97, back to back triples for Malcolm. This guy's unbelievable. Lowry to the corner at Ibaka. Now Van Vliet. He saw a slice, drive, scores. Fred Van Vliet. If the ball changes hands, the Bucks have a foul to give. Defense! Defense! Giannis, yes, flush! He got by Siakam. That is the right play. I love that he attacked. Yes, there's time left on the clock. Giannis at the rim to put them up three. You take it every single time. The Bucks win. 104-99, a 10-2 close to the game. Milwaukee 2-0 against Toronto. Well, how about Kevin Durant? And I thought he actually had a lot of great analysis regarding the Raptors. OG with a corner three. Nice pass from Kawhi. Kawhi Leonard has Myers Leonard on an island. He's going to attack. Double comes late. And Kawhi will head to the foul line. Ten point game once again. Kawhi up fake drives. Feed surge. Nice feed by Leonard. Van Vliet gives it now to Green. Over to Kawhi up top. And Kawhi attacking. 
And a double pump, and then he goes up and banks it in, his first made field goal. And even if it's not, you know, for an extended period of time, but just for periods yeah, of time to sure. bang with a player like Nurkic makes a big difference. And there, Kawhi finally knocking one down from the perimeter as well. Here's a three pointer. No. And a rebound for Leonard. Leonard racing ahead on a pull up three. He's feeling it. Well, did a great job of just stopping and getting his balance there, Matt. Kind of leaned off the defender and just really got his feet underneath him for that three. 3.48 to go. Nurkic with a jumper. No, on the glass. Leonard with a rebound, his fifth. Kawhi. And a foul on Nurkic. I love that. Go to the line. I love that hesitation, man. Last time he was in double digits, November 28th, the season I 18 against Orlando as Kawhi. We'll head back to the line. He is six of eight from the foul line. Turner clocked down. Turner stopped and Danny Green right there. All right, time to make a push if you're the Raptors. Kawhi spots up, knocks it down. Here you go in a timeout. Terry Stotts, he knows, right? It's right about that time with 4.45 to go at a 5-0 run. Kawhi. CJ corner three. Good. Just can they get multiple stops back up to a dozen here's Kawhi trying to take over and through tons of contact yeah, I mean he's <laughs> looking at the official say what do yeah. I got to do to get a call on that one all right here it is big trip with 307 to go Leonard with it up top rhythm free wow. got it wow rhythm free Leo and it's a seven point game Kawhi it's amazing how he shakes that defender, Matt. He loses him and just gets that balance for the jumper. Here's Kawhi. Slam dunk. Six point game. Danny Green for three. That he can do, folks. A lot of action going down here. Denver missing around the, the rim. And Michael Malone getting on Haywood Workman said, You missed a goaltend. 43% Danny Green shooting from three point this year. He's been kind of rejuvenated with a larger role in Toronto. Right for three. Way off the mark. And boy, hustles it up. Offensive rebound. Let's go right again. You can't let him go right. Now Kawhi Leonard is back in. That'll make a difference. Kawhi got it. He's a good mid-range shooter, but I, I still like him out there hand in his face shooting than, than at the rim. Leonard has six points. Nuggets hounding him. Now Wancho just got lost. Pretty good defense on the side. Wancho's a rotation guy, and he just kind of took a terrible angle. Now Kawhi hops in a 15-footer. He, he may be the best mid-range shooter. I, I, Thompson, Clay Thompson, I think he's that guy too. Why Leonard is just so solid. Let's get back to that right hand. Here he comes. And there it goes. Ten for Kawhi Leonard. That's his good defense. And here comes the Raptors with a little run. And Murray misses another one. He's had three or four really good easy looks like that. They just can't get the ball. Murray one of seven as Leonard wheels in. And the Nuggets are getting worked here at the top of the third. And he just wants to get back to that right hand. You got to see if he can go left, left and keep him left. First this Toronto team a year ago won 59 games. It was a franchise record. But they blew out their coach because they couldn't get by LeBron and the Cavs three years in a row. Jokic with the spin wouldn't drop. They're playing Nikola very aggressively. When you're being physical with him, if you're not getting to the free throw line, then he's got to make some tough shots. See that once again, just all Kawhi Leonard's doing is going and getting it and going right handed. I mean, there's nothing else that he's done. Right hand, right hand. You got to, you got to do something to get him out of that. And Wancho late on the rotation there. Ibaka gets the dunk. Now Kawhi Leonard. That's just a pretty Jumps shot. Another one. Yeah, that's just a pretty shot. Pretty good defense. But once again, when he goes right, I think he's a threat to score. When he goes left, good cover up by the Nuggets defense. Eight to shoot. Kawhi Leonard. See, he goes right. He, he's always looking to score. He goes left, nearly a turnover. 
He's got to recognize that. Get Kawhi Leonard on that left hand. Kawhi Leonard has had 20 or more. And 27 and 8 against the Nuggets the first time around. Kawhi Curry goes down, and the Raptors knock in another bucket. You might see an attack by Michael Malone here. He is all over Brad Kogan right now. Kawhi getting back to the right hand. Yeah. See, you don't even want to cut him off when he goes left, especially up high. Just, just stay with him. That little spin move. He's shown it. I, I, it'd be he's pretty good at it. To see the chart when he goes right, he shoot. OG shoots another one, and he hits. So they just let him. And you mentioned this 30 percent was one of six, now two of seven. Roy Leonard is going to go left and spin right. His name? No, he's going to shoot a fadeaway. No, rounded in. And he likes that little mid range. One minute to play. Nuggets trying to sweep the Raptors this season. Shot. Torrey Craig, time running down. Nope. Jokic down. And he puts it up and in. The cherry on the whipped cream. Let's do a dance. The Baca fouls out, and you got smaller guys having to stop it. Roy Leonard pops it out. 41 seconds to go. Shot is off the mark. Leonard's got it. He's got 29 points. Crowd chant defense. And finally a miss. The Denver Nuggets are going wow. to win this ball game. Standing ovation here at Pepsi Center. Listen to the crowd. Greg Monroe getting the start for the Toronto Raptors. Playing Jack in his fifth consecutive game. That's a season long. Nice feet on the inside. And Monroe goes to work. Great job by Kawhi Leonard that time. Good recognition of how they were loading up on him. And Monroe right down the gut of the defense. Easy shot opportunity. And Kawhi Leonard over Thaddeus Young. Drills at Kawhi. 29 points, 14 rebounds, 4 assists Sunday in Denver. Another nice pass there by Leonard. Hooking up Monroe, his second assist. Monroe with four points. Kawhi working with Moose on the inside. He's got six points. Make it ten. Pardon me. He's got ten of the Raptors. Thirteen. Here's Kawhi. Doubled. Digging in. Nice cut by OG. Underneath. Ends it up and through. Here's Evans. Has it. Knocked away. Stripped by Kawhi. And... Kawhi with a slam dunk in the Raptors down of I-7 well, and an 8-0 run. He gives it to you on the defensive end, doesn't he? And now he gets the ball to go through the bucket on a dunk. Maybe that helps his offense as well. Here's Kawhi backing in. And Leonard yeah. just a strong a great, strength move. Great individual play. That's solid defense. He made him shoot over the top between him and the basket, right? Green on Bogdanovich back over now to Kawhi with Joseph on him, 5 o'clock. Kawhi, jumper, bucket, and contact, no call. Here's Kawhi driving, gives it to the trailing, Danny Green, yes. Danny Green knocks it down from Muscatobin. Pull up, there you go, beautiful. Had the smaller defender on him. Leonard with the steal, driving, Seven-point game. And Kawhi back to the free throw line once again on that quick move. A good job by Siakam. Danny Green, Van Vliet make their way to the scorer's table. Count it! And Malloy with continuation the call. Leonard. Oh, Kawhi Leonard put a stamp on it! How about that display? Seven in the corner, two-point game. Kawhi. The tie up. The man's Nine dialed in. in. Yep. He's dialed in right now. Two and a half seconds left. Looking for Bogdanovich. And that will do it. Bogdanovich furious.
Cavaliers come to Toronto before the holidays. Taking on the Raptors right now, who own the best record in the NBA at 24-9. Cavs would love to spring another upset this week. Leonard off the bounce hits it. Because you see what they're doing. This team is a good mid-range shooting team. And they'll be a good defender, too. Jetty set his feet. The rebound to the Raptors. Here comes Van Vliet. Siakam gave it up. Leonard, unselfish play to Ananobi. Wow. Ananobi, an out-of-body shooting experience here. He's a 31% right. three-ball shooter. Down went Nawaba. They let him play. He thought should have been an offensive foul. Leonard in a post-up. Inside. Couldn't finish it, but he was fouled. So strong down there. In five games with the Cavs, averaging 12 points a night. But Leonard stopped in a dime and muscled it home. Leonard, who averages 26 and a half points a game. Boy, Leonard thinking about it against Parson. Jam step. Creates a little bit of space. Tries to go inside. Finish it. With those big, strong hands. Sexton again. Pulled the string a little bit. Rebound to Leonard. Cameron's doing a good job dropping back. David Nwaba back out there. Bodies up Leonard. Tied him up and fouled him. So Leonard will have to earn him at the free throw line. Make quick passes. Sexton. Buddy was fouled. Here comes Leonard in a foot race that he will win. So the zone with a couple of stops against the Cavs. Now they got to adjust. Jetty squares up for three. Nope. Rebound to the Raptors. That was a good situation shot there. Yep. That would have been a perfect shot to hit. Leonard looking for a whistle. Got it. And they're going to count the bucket. They call that continuation? As he had gathered, they say. Here comes Leonard spinning. Siakam likes that move, too, and Leonard scores. Kawhi Leonard with 20. Here comes Leonard against the Wama. Skates inside and draws that foul. See, again, they, they, they love to isolate you. And then if you can't defend them in, individually, they will just do it all night long. Here comes Leonard against a triple team. Darts inside. Count it again. Four. So how do you defend him? How do you keep him from penetrating like that? Here comes Leonard. Jack scored against his body. Now that is the size of his hands there. Near steal by Hood. Here comes Kawhi Leonard attacking. Puts it up and in. Third and one in this quarter. He's in beast mode. Leonard. Bulls inside. On a tough floater. And guess what? He threw another whistle. Well, he's playing like MVP tonight. Tarks it. Drops it off to Nance. That was a tough pass to handle in traffic. Siakam and a streak. Leonard pumps for three. Yep. So Kawhi Leonard continues his assault. He's made nine in a row now. Wow. And he's got 36. And that's going to do it. So the Toronto Raptors, like the Cavaliers shorthand, it was a good one here tonight. Cash just couldn't uh, get over the top in their comeback efforts, and they fall short here. 126 to 110 in a game that was uh, certainly a lot closer than that uh, final score would indicate. Welcome, everyone, to Miami. This is Tangerine Raptors basketball. Here on this Boxing Day, the Toronto Raptors getting set to take on the Miami Heat. Last time these two teams played, Jonas Valanciunas got the start played 24 minutes. However, he had a double-double, 17 points, 10 rebounds. What did Hassan Whiteside do? Two points, five rebounds, four fouls, was a minus 15 in 12 minutes of action. A nice strong take that time to end the run. Well, you, you mentioned what, the, what they've been doing now. They've won, they've slowed the game down. Oh, what a, what a powerful finish with the left hand. They've slowed the game down to give themselves, as you said, a better chance in each of these matchups. And two, they've employed a lot of zone. Matt, they're number two in, in holding teams defensively as far as not allowing them to move the ball and assist. That, that's a great number. OG Ananobi connects from deep. And it's a good sign early on for OG, who's shooting 32% from three-point range, had five points, five rebounds in 26 minutes against Philadelphia. Here's Kawhi, count it. Getting the ball out of the hands of Leonard. Corner three, Danny Green, no. Kawhi flies in and banks it in. And the Raptors down 13. All right, no white side. Can the Raptors put together another run here with 6.25 to go? Able to cut it in the second quarter to one without him on the floor. Leonard dials up a three. 
16, game high. You find that, as you yeah. mentioned, because of injuries, you search for combination. Counted and one. The Raptors making a move here. It's a seven-point game. It's a 15-7 run, Leo. Pascal tied his career best with 26. See Ackham with six points and six rebounds. Kawhi Leonard, 21 points. Turnover, chance to lead. Last time they led, it was 2-0. Freddie in the corner, steady Freddie. No, Green bats it. Kawhi has it blocked, stays with it. Toronto leads here on Boxing Day. Van Fleet on the rim. Monroe takes it, spins. Too strong, OG kicks it out. Kawhi drills it. You get that second effort. Offensive rebound. There you go. Second chance points have been big for the Toronto Raptors. Leonard has had moments on this court as well. Drills it. Great screen by Serge Ibaka. Raptors 103-102. Winslow gets it to Wade. Screen set. Doesn't use it, waves it off. Gives it to Winslow. Winslow attacking. High off the window. Miami by one. Pressure shots by both teams. Yeah, Winslow has been so good at finishing in traffic. On their feet here. Raptor fans, Heat fans. Corner three. The Green Ranger! Just like that! Wade has it. Whiteside sets the screen. Green stays there. Three doesn't go. Loose ball scooped up Winslow. Winslow guarded by Kawhi. The three batted up. Doesn't go. And the Raptors take it on Boxing Day here in Miami. What a game! Toronto, very effective both offensively and defensively. Top 10 in both categories in the NBA. Not surprising with the best league overall. Isaac, good job on Leonard. That's just a great shot by Kawhi Leonard. That's an all-star right there. DJ on the drive. Has to hook it high. Vucevic trying to control it. But Ibaka's got it. Now Leonard. He'll pull up and shoot over Isaac. He knocks it in for three. He is just so efficient offensively, David. He shoots a very high percentage. Leonard. And space. Easy two points for Kawhi Leonard. Isaac to Simmons. Jay Sims on the drive. Blocked by Leonard. Leonard almost fell down and then righted the ship and knocked down a three. That's a pretty good list of number 15 picks. Yeah, it's interesting. Is it anything? I like that, David. I like the way the graphic came together. You gave us a little suspense. Toronto will show a little bit of zone, David. They have had some success with it. You got to move the basketball. Nice high-low situation there. Vucevic picks up a blocking foul. Jonathan taking it coast to coast. Rebounded by Leonard. He comes back quickly. Right at Vucevic puts it in. He just puts that, that ball in one hand, those big mitts, David, just going right at you. Boy, so many good things happen when Vooch touches the basketball. Kawhi Leonard. All-star caliber move there. Leonard. That's an easy bucket for the two-time All-Star. Wonder is off to the races. Blocked by Ibaka. Leonard to Miles. In and out for three. Leonard tied up by Ross and a foul on the Magic. It is Tangerine Raptors basketball on TSN on a Sunday night from Scotiabank Arena in downtown Toronto. Holiday season, festive season, basketball season all colliding right now on this second last day of 2020.
18. And even Bermuda loves the Raptors. Yes, they got fans. Big energy in here tonight. A lot of fans in the building early as well. Here's Kawhi Leonard as he drills it tied at two. You mentioned Siakam. I think he really misses Kyle Lowry more than anyone else. Lowry does a Look fabulous ahead. job hooking him up, not only on pitch aheads, but a lot of in half court sequence and gets his motor going, shows a lot of confidence in his game. It's more pressure on him with Valanchunas and Lowry out of the lineup. Every shot weighs a little more. Here's Leonard, steady swing. The ball gets a little heavier. You know, there's, there's the weight of expectation now. You look around, you're missing two of your top six guys. And now every every play you get means a little bit more. You're carrying a little bigger piece of the puzzle. Here's Kawhi backing in. Just going to power his way in. And why not, right? Old school right there. Step through move. Horsing it up. Has that gone away like you're not allowed to work hard and be challenged and put the time in and pay your dues like that guy right there? Kawhi Leonard to the rim. Raptors is 3 of 16 from distance. Here's Levine. Great defense by Boucher. Oh, yeah. Here's Leonard on the run. Brown swings it. Boucher. There you go. Doesn't go. Kawhi keeps it alive. He's going to try his hand at the three. And Leonard connects from Yarmouth. Can't keep a good man down. He missed the wide open one the last time. Tremendous hustle play. Gets the rebound. Knocks down to Jimmy. And Chris Boucher. Another block. My friends out in Quebec, you got to help me with the get that garbage out of here in French. Marking in the three. And Laurie Marketing knocks it down. 38% from three point range in his second season out of Arizona. Seventh overall selection. And oh, yeah. The straight. The end one. There you go. Beast mode. By the way, does Mike Krzyzewski have some talent at Duke? Like, before he turned as these Duke guys. And a nice job by Leonard. Kawhi's got 17. Here's Leonard into the front court. But there's no doubt as, as Leonard will go to the is foul it, line that Jimmy Boylan's got him playing really well. Well, isn't it funny in pro sports? You fire a hard nosed guy. Then you bring a guy who's more progressive, offensive-minded, and then you go with the hard-nosed guy again. It's it's like, it's that way in all sports. Here's Kawhi in the paint. Oh, what a move by Kawhi Leonard. He extends his career best streak of 20-plus performances, 13 consecutive games. The calendar flips in 2019 is a year that the Toronto Raptors have had their eye on since acquiring Kawhi Leonard. If it's a one season wonder, this is when it really begins. The Utah Jazz are in town to take on the Raptors celebrating the holiday season or those in Toronto and those that have made their way to Scotiabank Arena. The Raptors 62 and 24 in the calendar year 2018. That is the best mark in the NBA. Ingles, shot clock down, and the three-pointer doesn't go, and Leonard there. Now, two guys that are really dangerous, Donovan Mitchell and Joe Ingles, and you have Green and Kawhi Leonard, who knocks down the jumper right there, that are defending those two players, and that really helps the Toronto Raptors because they can create opportunities that can really hurt you for them, themselves, and everybody else. And Kawhi drills it. Raptors defensively have been strong. Here's Kawhi Leonard. He sticks it. Eight points already for Kawhi. Crowder launches a three. Doesn't go, and Leonard handles the rebound. The Raptors, their lead as large as eight. It's been trimmed to two. And Kawhi goes to work against Dante Exum. Yeah, unstoppable right there. No way Exum is going to challenge on a shot like that. Here's Mitchell spinning. Shot doesn't go. Leonard with it. Miles spent seven seasons in Utah. Kawhi. And that's how strong he is. He looks at Tony Brothers in an and one. Yeah, and that's what you just got to continue to do. Because of Engels and his ability to defend and play strong, you just got to attack him. Forget about trying to get the call, just attack him. Kawhi drives by. 
and one. And that's what, that's what we're talking about. Just keep playing through. Force the officials to have to make the calls. And Kawhi, as good as anybody, Matty, switching hands, going to that left hand. Nice job just getting in here. And once he goes airborne, just gets it over the left hand. He's so strong and his hands are so big, he can maintain control of that basketball and still make the shot. Leonard and Monroe are the only two Raptors to go to the line. And Kawhi with 15 points. Siakam to pass over the top. Kawhi, I thought he traveled. Ball's loose. He'll take the shot good. Jazz stand close at the line. 19 for Derek Favors. Leonard flies it up and in. Pardon me, Leonard. 21. I counted seven dribbles to get into that shot. You know, we talked earlier about trying not to, to let this team score off the dribble. It's hard with Kawhi. Here's Leonard back to work. Takes on Gobert. Slides with his shot and scores it. 23, make it 24 now for Kawhi Leonard. He averages just under 27. Off to Crowder. Good. It's a good sign. Ricky Rubio and Jay Crowder are, are knocking down baskets. That's the fifth three-pointer. Right. Nobody can put a, a, a lid or a handle on Kawhi underneath. Eight to shoot. Down to seven. To six. Kawhi. How did that happen? I don't know because he had a double team for most of that. But he found a way. That's what great, great scorers do. Crowder, circuit shot, wouldn't fall. Tapped out once. Monroe got a piece of it. Leonard comes into front court, drives it up the chest of Exum, a score. You know what? I don't know if you can play better defense on that you particular can. play. Dante held his ground. You'll look at the replay. Hands are straight to the sky. Yeah, you can. Dante did a great job. And I just don't understand why that would be a foul if Dante is straight up on him. He, maybe he moved to the right a little bit. That's what the officials saw. But you're doing that against a great score, a great offensive player. Kawhi. He can't turn. And you can't turn the switch off right now. 34 for Leonard. Oh, tough shot. Leonard's got 36. Either hand around the basket, the guy will find a way to finish. Crowder. Three-pointer doesn't go on the offensive glass, and it's Again, that easy for Gobert, who loses a shoe. Hurry up, it's five on four. Spin dribble, Leonard Siakam. Be quick, but don't hurry. <laughs> and Siakam. <laughs> I like that, that, that was good. That was good. Good pressure by Danny Green there for Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell just really hasn't gotten on track. Six of Six 20, of 20 yeah. in this game. Crowder has. That's a call wow. by 30. Wow. Leonard, oh, what a shot. You know how strong Slicing you got to be. through and then the left. Contact all the way and somehow able to stretch and get that ball in clean without using the glass. Wow. That's impressive. 40 on the night for Kawhi. Here's Kawhi. And it's a foul on Ingles. A new career best. For Kawhi Leonard, 42-point performance. Raptors lead by eight. Leonard will walk it across midcourt into the front court. Quick move, driving on angles. Kawhi Leonard, 44. Ibaka was going to come up, set a screen, and Leonard just looked at him and said, no, I got this. Kawhi Leonard, the one-time San Antonio Spur, DeMar DeRozan, the one-time Toronto Raptor, in what will be an emotional night for both players. If set the lineups in the moment, you hear Kawhi receiving the booze, he takes to the rim, it counts in the foul. Danny Green well received, not the case for Kawhi Leonard during the course of the introductions. I had to turn the TV off today because of all the speculation of would he get booed, would he not. And just because the man doesn't talk does not mean that he doesn't handle his business on the court. Look for him to be aggressive all night long. Lowry 
overall has missed eight of the last nine. Kawhi is hearing the blues pretty solidly now every time he touches the ball. He definitely is. I was going to make that point before the game and the pictures and everything else. They didn't do it now every time he touches it, but as you see, he doesn't care. The good players, they do not care about getting moved. It's the same as applause. It gives you that same rush. Leonard got the step. So Kawhi with his third field goal. He's three of five, one assist, six points. And get it down in a hurry to Allwood. Shot was batted away by Siakam. Good play by Pascal Siakam. Siakam at the other end. Finds Leonard. Leonard, met by the double team, was able to hit. Oh, he was shooting that before he caught this it. Is about a prior to tonight's game, working out. And I always believe that. Assuming your injured players are coming back healthy, the fact that other guys get a chance to step up really helps your team come playoff time. Kawhi Leonard able to snap it through. He's 5 of 8 from the field. He has 10 points. Spurs got exactly what they wanted. Archers has been going to work so much. A wide open three for four. Leonard on the reverse through the foul. Kawhi Leonard. Two-time All-Star, two-time Defensive Player of the Year, 2014 NBA Finals MVP, fouled by Forbes, and we'll go to the line to shoot a couple. Try to pick up the wonder trainer. Trainer? Yeah. <laughs> It's amazing how they can do that in unison. Right? Yeah, yeah. One section gets it going. You hear one guy say, "Oh, that's a good one. Let me yeah. do it too." Right. <laughs> the one getting the business here tonight. He has heard it every time he catches the ball. Shot clock now. Out of five. There's Aldridge. Talk about shoulder work. Aldridge will give you shoulder work and shoot it over the shoulder. You know he's going to, and you still can't stop it. Ibaka knocks it down. Four minutes gone by in the third. Mark Albert, Chris Webber, Kristen Ledlow, and Kawhi Leonard with the slam. He's part of our team tonight, but he better get it going. Well, this game is different, and it was a little more emotion, and I saw he was sped up at the beginning of the game, maybe taking a couple of plays he doesn't usually do. Trying to make a point like that, trying to loosen up. You want to see him try to loosen up and get excited because that's the way DeMar starts. Runner backs his way, gets it inside. Nice hook shot by Pascal Siakam. He's run it and he is fouled by DeRozan. But the one difference when you look at Leonard and DeRozan is Ibaka hits a three. Beautiful five serve form in Milwaukee will host its 17th sellout in 22 NBA home games tonight as the Bucks host the Toronto Raptors in a showdown between the East's two most successful teams at this point in the 2018-19 season. Buckle up and get ready. The Bucks sit atop the NBA with a stunning 27 and 10 record. The league's best home mark, 18 and three. Toronto has more victories than any team in the league and trails Milwaukee by just a half game. All of that, and we have a showdown tonight between two MVP candidates, Giannis Adetokounmpo and of course, Kawhi Leonard. You mentioned Giannis quite a few times earlier. Kawhi quite a bit quieter. You have to believe that Nick Nurse probably told the Raptors, why don't you go to number two a little more often? Kawhi Leonard hits the jump shot. Uh, you're dead right, third straight possession. They go to him, he gets one to go, they know. They don't get him going. They got Lowry and Valanciunas out there in trouble. Out of the Kumbo. Ends up on his back. Three defenders. No whistle. Fans don't like it. Leonard hits the three. I mean, that's Kawhi showing how he's averaging 30 points a game. Deflection. Forcing the turnover. No, no, no. Oops. Yeah. Too much weight room. See, he was getting ready for the rock. Too much weight room he missed. Too much work with you. Leonard. <laughs> Let's go to Katie George. Go on, Leonard. He swishes a three. 
Leonard scoreless for the first 5-12 of the game. Now he has 13 points to steal. And then the reaching foul, Middleton, with 440 remaining in the half. Kawhi Leonard in the paint. Leonard has 15 points. Kawhi Leonard against Brogdon. Step back fadeaway. He hits it. Kawhi Leonard, 19. Brogdon leads into... Oh, it rolled off. Looked like it was going to drop. Great move by Brogdon to get through the defense. Kawhi Leonard, an excellent dribble. A couple of yanks. You heard him groan on the way up. The foul call. It was a foul. He didn't groan to get the foul. He groaned because of the foul. That was a heck of a move. Siakam for three. Toronto up 12. Back and forth they go. Yeah, and they're taking the shots that, that they take. They're taking the best shot available. They're not obsessed with the analytics. The only shoot threes, only score at the rim. Siakam had all day to load that one up. Toronto's answering. You got to give him credit. Giannis got in trouble. Siakam. So Siakam hits a three, scores in the restricted area. Toronto leads 88-79. Both teams have made 10 threes in this game. This crowd is doing its part and then some. Bedlam in here. Danny Green laid on the timer for three. Kawhi Leonard with the steal. We said in Toronto it felt like a playoff game. Guess what? It does here tonight. Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, you see guys that can make big plays when it really matters. Kawhi just tall. Right there to shoot a little fadeaway. Danny Green knocking down the three. Right back in it. Even when the momentum in the building gets loud, they're still right there. Siakam open in the corner for three. Kawhi Leonard. The fifth foul on Chris Middleton. 30 points for Kawhi Leonard. Raptors have won five in a row here at home. I don't know if you can get two more impressive wins than Saturday night in Milwaukee, a team that had won five in a row. And then on Sunday night, returning to a team that was sitting here waiting that had won six in a row and the Raptors came away with a 121 to 105 victory we are underway here Atlanta wins the opening tips three pointer doesn't go and Pascal Siakam with a rebound here's Kawhi and count it and the foul Leonard will head to the line first time since December the 9th that Lowry and Kawhi are on the floor at the same time. Leonard to Siakam. And Kawhi has learned something from Lowry. There you go. Look ahead to Siakam. Great pass that time. And you know what? If you're able to get Siakam going in the running game, what a difference that makes. It's Kawhi Leonard with an up fit. He's driving on Collins, dumps it off. Siakam. Great pass again by Leonard. Drove it to the baseline, picked up the second defender. Wrapped his three assists, four field goals, sharing the rock. Leonard with two of them. Here's Kawhi Raptors. This is game jack number 43. Kawhi Leonard short corner. First meeting between these two teams back on November 21st. Raptors won 124-108. However, he became the 22nd player in NBA history to score over 25,000. Kawhi Leonard dialed up coming out of the timeout and drills the shot. Here's Kawhi, up fake. And the jumper is good. And when you have 14 different starting lineups, and you have Kawhi and Kyle coming in and out. That's why you need out. That's and it's, why you need some days off and practice time to develop a lot of that stuff and go through drills and different schemes to work on. Kawhi, corner three. Good from Timmons. Well, what set that up? Well, penetration on the baseline, the swing to Lowry, and that immediate extra pass off the penetration to Leonard, beautifully done. Leonard finds Anadobi, driving, oh gee, oh my!
Van Vliet, crossover. In the paint, here's Kawhi, the three. How sweet it is. Swish, it's a 7-0 run. Tied at 51. Here's Lowry with a three, but don't poke the bear, Jack. And a technical called on Kyle Lowry. Better watch out here. Here's Young, and the pass picked off. Had a lot of success when they've thrown that little curveball, people. Kawhi, the three, splash. Well, you've had you've had Leonard to Lowry, and now you've had Lowry to Leonard. Really well done. Raptors go back to the zone. Look at Leonard go to work down low on the block. Good patient possession there, right? Old-fashioned basketball. Just beat him up in a post. Kawhi on a repost. There, there you go. Great well, move by Seattle. What I say? Go to work. Play old-fashioned basketball. Punch it in the post. You throw it back in, they're going to throw a second defender his way. He made the play. Siakam come right out of the timeout. Hey, hey how about Kawhi Leonard tonight? You know, everyone focuses on the score. He's giving you six assists tonight. Great pass. And Siakam, beautiful basket cut. Yeah. Here's Kawhi with a jumper. He's had a really nice night tonight. I mean, super efficient. 25 points. And then a takeaway, another turnover, two on one break. The line up top, Kawhi, and he's going to head to the line as Kyle makes his way to the table. Kawhi knocks it down, ties it. Yeah, good, just good old fashioned possession, right? Nice post feed by Van Vliet. Excellent post up by Leonard. And the Raptors now show his own look, but then they go back, man. Atlanta 8 for 11 here in the quarter. Raptors turning up the D. Leonard with the steal. Kawhi into the front court. A chance to take the lead. 31 now for Leonard, and the Raptors lead by one. What did I say, right? You can score on them on the run, right? Lowry to inbound it, looking for Leonard. They find Kawhi. It's a three. Does it go on the glass? And Denham with the rebound. And a huge possession here. One point game, 15 seconds on the shot clock. Van Vliet up top. Lynn uses the screen, gets a switch in the paint. Good coverage by Ibaka. OG guards Collins. Benbury stolen by Kawhi. Raptors down to one. Into the front court. Lowry with the screen. Van Vliet, Kyle, Serge, Dunk! Raptors by one. 17.1 left. Raptors do not have a foul to give. Here's Trey Young. Raptors lead by one. Fans on their feet. Trey Young driving. Shot doesn't go. Ibaka with a rebound. Gets it to Van Vliet. To Lowry. Lead pass. OG. Slam dunk. Point seven to go. Time to gather and throw it. Up. Carter does. And the Toronto Raptors win it. 104, 101. Here in Toronto, Scotia Bank Arena. Moments away from the opening tip, the Nets and the Raptors. Let's check out the starting lineups. Travion Graham is in there for Jared Dudley. Had an MRI performed yesterday, still waiting on the results of that. Rodion's Kurutz, Jared Allen, Joe Harris, D'Angelo Russell round out the five. The Nets are 10 and four since Kurutz was inserted into the starting lineup. For Toronto, Kawhi Leonard, Pascal Siakam, Serge Ibaka, Danny Green, and Kyle Lowry. Lowry trying to push the tempo here for Toronto. Let's get back defensively. Leonard all the way for the flush. Russell gets around Green, the bounce. Allen works his way inside for the deuce. Get into it quickly. One against three, and one wins. Kawhi Leonard with a left hand. Graham rims out on a three ball. Yeah, that's the one area. Graham still getting back from injury, but we'd love to see that percentage move up. Reputation as an excellent shooter. Leonard hunting a shot and drains it from the outside. Leonard. 
intermediate jump shot for Kawhi Leonard. Joe Harris had it swiped by Kawhi Leonard. Dinwiddie and Carroll in. Van Vliet in for Toronto. And hits a three immediately for the Raptors. Fred Van Vliet from the outside. Napier lets it fly. It's a three. Shabazz Napier bullseye. 48-46. Leonard answers. He cans a triple. The jumper doesn't go for Ibaka, but the follow does. Kawhi Leonard. What an effort. That's trail by four. Graham's jumper is too strong. A minute and a half to play. Green a three. Danny Green has been such a nice addition. Obviously, Leonard gets the headlines, but Green is a blue guy. And it's 59-52. Leonard gets the step oh on Graham. High archer, he put it over Allen off the window. 61-52, the Raptors have their largest cushion. Kawhi Leonard sticks with it. He missed the initial attempt, but gets the follow. Harris had it blocked by Green from behind. Leonard running hard. Nice, no luck. Siakam with the stuff. Special pass. The vision, a great job by Siakam. Running up the lane and uh, an excellent delivery. Harris lined it up. Off the back of the iron, Lowry, lead pass. Green trying to track it down, he does. Leonard to three. Ridiculous touch. Napier a three. It was online, but too strong. Leonard loops it ahead. Cut by Siakam, and the layup goes. Toronto will just take the turnover. A rare blowout loss for Brooklyn. Snow lovers rejoice, but be careful what you wish for. This city has been shut down in more ways than one, but no stopping NBC Sports Washington coverage of Wizards basketball. Today, the Wiz look for their fourth win in the last five games in their third meeting this season with Kawhi Leonard and the 32-12 Toronto Raptors. Kawhi Leonard lets fly, and they finally hit one in their third attempt. Kyle Lowry did a nice job to come in there and tip that thing and keep it alive. Wizards have the ball stolen, and the Raptors off to a quick 7-0 start, and Scott Brooks wants time. Wow. <laughs> Stumbling in for two points, Kawhi Leonard. Ibaka, boy, has his shooting just, in the last four or five years, it's been tremendous. Leonard scores again. He's got seven points here early. Leonard off the pass from Lowry, knocks it down. Good look for him, that's his second three-pointer made. He's got 10 points on four or four shooting. Here's Leonard, drives all the way and lays it in. What a great pass. Is there a way to stop that, Kara, or not? Not with a guard. Baseline, Kawhi Leonard. Baseline, Ariza wouldn't fall. Sato has it blocked, and here come the Raptors. A couple of excellent opportunities for Washington could not cash in. Wow. Long. Strong. Kawhi Leonard at the other end. Boy, those screen rolls and attempted passes just have not worked very well for Washington. Yeah, they, they have not been able to get those backdoor cuts. Siakam inside lays it in. Leonard driving again, floats it up and draws contact. Kawhi Leonard, eighth in the NBA in free throw attempts per game at 7.6. Boy, that's a strong move by Kawhi Leonard. 
Leonard in the paint. Contact, score it, he'll go to the line. Leonard pulls up for the jumper. How good is he? Deals 44th career game with five or more threes. But there's Leonard with a short jumper and Washington takes time. But he is so good, so dependable. Here's Porter, auto driving. Great play to get a little separation on that run. Leonard, driving, pulls up for the jumper, no good. Rebound tipped away to Sadoransky. For Beal, to Sato baseline. Otto for three. Beal for three. Got it! Bradley Beal with his sixth three-pointer ties the game at 124. Can you believe that? Leonard pulls up for the jumper. It's short. Rebound, Washington. Green will take the shot and missed it. And we are going to overtime in the district. Leonard with 31 points. This time he gets by Ariza and scores. Otto off balance, jumper is good. Beal throws it up, no good. Rebound, Toronto. Four straight possessions with a chance to oh. take the lead and Leonard gives his team the advantage by three. Go to Beal, hounded by Leonard. Trying to get a screen, he gets around him, he drives, has it knocked out of bounds. Beal goes flying, he can't believe a foul wasn't called. Beal gives it up, Ariza takes a three. A little short, rebound Sadoransky. Ariza again for Porter to tie it, does. 27 points for Porter, Leonard misses. And a foul is called. Two free throws for Leonard. Beal, contact, scores to tie the game at 131. Lowry takes the shot, no good, rebound, and that is the end of the overtime. We'll play another one tied at 131. Ariza into the corner for Sadoransky. Floater is up and in! Close to five seconds. Leonard gets it in and they give him the ball. Spins in the paint and he scores. Lowry trying to pick up a foul, and he does. Raptors by one. Peel. Underneath. Scores! Thomas Bryant off the glass. Leonard. Fouled on the play. And that'll be Trevor Ariza, and he will be disqualified. That basket by Sadoransky gave Washington its first lead of the game. Bryant with a short jumper. He got it. Back to Leonard, gets free, shoots it up and misses, gets his own rebound. Ibaka for three, oh no! Serge Ibaka, and the Raptors go up by one. Beal, driving, kicks it out. Green baseline for Porter's jumper, short. Rebound tipped away, and a foul will be called on Washington. No timeouts left. Gives his team the lead by two. Down court. It's picked off. Knocked out of bounds. And that is your ball game. A heartbreaking loss for the Wizards who fought their guts out here tonight. All right, thanks a lot, Michelle, and welcome to a very frigid and freezing night here in Boston in a showdown between a couple of Eastern Conference powers that hope to be playing when things warm up in April and even May, perhaps even into June. The Celtic Nation in turmoil a little bit right now after a three-game road trip and Kyrie Irving, the team's leader, having a few things to get off of his chest, and he let it be known. Welcome, everyone, to NBA Courtside. Presented by McDonald's. Tonight, the third meeting of the season between the Toronto Raptors and the Boston Celtics. Kawhi Leonard's Raptors with the NBA's best road record. He's coming off a 41-point night three nights ago. Meanwhile, Kyrie Irving, good news for the Boston Celtics. He's back in action 
after missing their previous run a couple of nights ago against the Brooklyn Nets. Irving to Horford and stolen by Kawhi Leonard. That's what he does. Two-time defensive player of the year with an easy one at the other end. Leonard working against Smart. Smart, a pretty good defender. And Leonard hits nothing but net. It's interesting, Jeff, because everybody talks about Kawhi Leonard, but Nick Nurse, the first-year head coach for the Raptors, is quick to praise Danny Green as being an important glue guy, but that's why Leonard commands a lot of the spotlight. With Detroit moves like that at the bucket. Toronto out to a nine-point lead just underway. And another deflection and steal by Toronto. And they converted the other end. Timeout, Brad Stevens. The Raptors leading by 11. And another Boston turnover. Leonard tripped up. And a foul before the shot. Leonard got that one to go through and over Al Horford. So big, so strong. Leonard working against Brown. Across the foul and one. Kawhi inside. There's Morris again attacking from the wing. Looking for the contact, and they'll have numbers. The Raptors will come in the other way. Leonard, green for three, and here come Toronto still. Leonard just continues to make simple, sound plays. Right there, pushed it. Wide open green, didn't over dribble. Put it right in his shooting pocket. Impressive in his first year with the Raptors. Another and one for Kawhi. You know, people talk about his shooting, how much it improved from the time he came in through now, but it's also his handle. So much tighter, and then the raw power. Marcus Morris Sr. is a big, strong man that just got moved by Kawhi Leonard's broad shoulders. Leonard with the baseline pull-up, money! Again, the handle to get himself some separation is what's so impressive. Leonard out front. Step back over Smart, got it! Leonard's a good button to be able to press right there. I mean, nothing going on, just the ability to raise up over an outstanding defender in Marcus Smart. Kyrie inside and one. Saying earlier that he's done calling out his teammates in public. And Kawhi Leonard with another bucket. That one a three. Toronto up by four. On the pick and pop. Horford with an answer. Big play by Irving. Great shot by Horford. And if you're Toronto, most likely you're going to give that shot up. Wow, what a shot! Kawhi not Off glass! There is a lethal precision to his game, Jeff. Lowry with a three ball. Not a fan of that shot at this point in the game. Tatum at the other end, and one! Lowry didn't bound for Toronto. Two on the shot clock. He's got to go quick. Got it off over Morris. Fortunate to draw iron. Tatum for three. Celtics with the lead. Irving got the switch. Ibaka guarding him. Seven on the shot clock. Starting to dance with it. Slammed on the brakes. Money. Butter. Kyrie, a bomb. Oh! Straight fire. Big time shot maker. Great contest by Leonard. You're just looking at an elite offensive player. 
Celtics with possession up five. Trying to close this one out. Irving inside, Horford with the finish. Leonard from deep, short. Boston in control here. The lob. Horford on a high handoff. Green with another contested three. And that might just do it. A little sugar from Tatum. So the Boston Celtics going on an 11 to nothing run. And the game was tied at 106. And they'll go up 2-1 to one in the season series against the Toronto Raptors. Boston the number five seed in the Eastern Conference. And appropriately, fittingly, Irving with the ball in his hands as time expires. Live from Toyota Center in downtown Houston, AT&T Sportsnet proudly presents... Houston Rockets basketball. Tonight, the Rockets take on the Toronto Raptors. I almost feel like Wilt needs his own separate category. Agree. And we can define what James is doing through just a different prism. Tried to kick it out, and Leonard with those hands got his hands on it. And he finishes at the other end. Uh, one time, this guy, his wingspan was the longest in the league. When Capella comes back, Reed will be a great addition to that second unit for the Rockets. Adding a little bit more depth. 18 point lead. Kawhi hits the deep three. Maybe that'll get him going a little bit. Leonard again pulls the trigger and fouled by James Ennis. Looked like he was behind the three point line when he took it. Let's see what they rule it here. Reed inside. Leonard with the board. So you kept your mouth quiet about the <laughs> <laughs> Danny Green gets Danny a spot Green. up three, and they're getting closer in this one. I'm listening to Ayana scouting him. <laughs> Leonard on the pro. Got it off glass. Come on now. Well, the P.J. Tucker guarded that as well as you can. Four on the shot clock. Boy, all that jelly and a little bit of toast at the end. <laughs> Kawhi on the three ball. That one halfway down and out. Siakam picks it back out to Leonard. Passed up the three for Lowry, and Lowry drills his first three ball of the night. They want him to be more assertive. Leonard strong as well. He put Harden, pardon me, Fareed in the weight room on that play. And he is, Leonard was so close, I think, to getting a check from Zach Zarba. Siakam on the break, finishing with the slam, and the Raptors have closed it within four here quickly in the third quarter. Rivers downhill, nice kick out to Tucker. And one of the rare misses from that corner three spot for him. You know, Rivers couldn't get it. I, they had James Harden stand at the top of the key. I know PJ's favorite spot is that corner, but he had one more pass. And gets Toronto a little closer as they score on the other end. And Venice that time off the mark. It is a uh, system if you can take advantage of it that can really work for you in catch and shoot situations as green. Knocks down another three, an eight to nothing Raptor run has them back within ten. Under two minutes to go here in the third. Leonard with a nice fake on Tucker who didn't bite. Leonard with those huge hands held it like a grapefruit, Taurus. He sure, and got the ball. He sure did. My goodness. I, I thought he got hit. And uh, it seems to be working out, albeit a short sample size for Fareed here in Houston. Why Leonard? Gets the layup to go inside, and Gerald Green is still with the team. No question. And a nice contributor. No question. Kawhi off the inbound pass. Got an easy one in the paint. Nine point lead for the Raptors. Kawhi uh, Leonard with a number three, the lead down to eight here. Good Harden track. turns it over. Great trap. They turn him over, Green. Siakam back out to Kawhi for three, and he bricked it. Yeah, to get him off the three point line. Lowry, yeah. And he bricked it. Three for a quarter. Danny Green backs out to the line. Didn't get behind it. 
And they're going to count it as a three. It looked like he was behind it. It's a five-point game with 35.9 to go. And they step on the sideline. And another turnover by the Rockets. It's down to five. Two possessions for the Raptors. Powell. Siakam for three. Yes! It's a two-point game with 27 to go. Raptors right back in it. Gordon launching a bad three. Siakam, the Raptors miraculously, implausibly, incredibly back in this game. Ten seconds to go. Raptors down two. Leonard out front working against P.J. Tucker. They can tie it up here. Powell with the screen. Leonard for the win. And he comes up short. The Rockets hang on. What a spectacular performance we saw again from Luka Doncic on Friday night when the Mavs beat the Pistons. 32 points, 8 boards, and 8 assists. Also on Friday night, Kawhi Leonard and the Raptors are playing in Houston. Leonard had 32 points, but Houston were two-point winners over the Raptors in that game, 121-119. Now the Raptors have made their way from South Texas up to Dallas to play the Mavericks tonight in the second and final matchup this year between the two teams. Near drop of his own by Kyle Lowry, rebounds his own miss to Kawhi Leonard, who connects on a three. And Kawhi obviously replacing DeRozan in the lineup has been outstanding. Luka, nice outlet pass. Barnes on the attack, and he misses in the paint. Trying to bounce back from a 2-for-10 game Friday night, scoring nine points against Detroit. There's a corner three that's hit by Siakam. And the Raptors love to shoot corner threes. They're fourth in the league, averaging over nine corner three-point attempts per game. When it comes to corner threes, only Houston, Utah, and Atlanta shoot more. There's one for the wing, and they train that one as well. They've been hitting from the wing. They've been hitting from the corner. Leonard knocks that one down, and it's an early map timeout. Three-pointer, Lowry. They're going to knock down threes. The Raptors are very difficult to win against. Litter now scores in the paint and is fouled. Six on the shot clock on the inbound to catch and shoot. And a smooth looking mid range J for Kawhi Leonard. That's what makes him so good. He can get under the defense. He's knocked down a couple of threes. Got under the D that time. That's why Biggs need to get the ball to guards <laughs> right there. <laughs> Guards are better decision makers. And yes, I am a guard. Was. Did your ex-teammate Patrick Ewing share that same opinion? <laughs> <laughs> Not able to knock that one in. Uh, but it takes an unfortunate carrot for Dallas. Toronto with a second chance. And they cash in on the Kawhi Leonard three-pointer. And he's improved from that three-point line. Here's a drive by Smith. Oh, God, what a drive to the basket, but just couldn't finish it. Leonard. Leonard, and it goes. Wow, against all kinds of defense. He was fouled. There were challenges to the shot. It goes in, and it's the first basket of the quarter for the Raptors. That was just a big old ball going downhill there, Hart. Well, and it's a fast break point, which Toronto excels in. Kawhi getting to the left hand. Fantastic finish for him. Jalen Brunson has filled in very well. Yeah, nice little no-look pass by Jalen as Leonard scores inside. They have to try to break down the defense now. Screen by Jordan, three, Smith off target. Tough possession there. Leonard in the lane, over Matthews, tie game. Golly, he's strong and good. Matthews tried to stay in front of him successfully so far, but now off the screen it opens up. Leonard whips the pass to Danny Green, and Green scores. Defensive first down, but Leonard got past the defense. Six-point lead with a minute to play. Leonard's come to life. Good evening, everyone, from Toronto, where it's five above, but feels like five below with the wind. We have a terrific game with the top teams in the East, led by their All-Stars. Tonight from Toronto, Ontario, the NBA on TNT is presented by State Farm. The Milwaukee Bucks have the highest winning percentage in the league. The Toronto Raptors have the third best percentage, 
and are just behind the Bucks in the East. Serge Ibaka. That's a long two right there by Ibaka, who had an 11 point, 11 rebound performance in that win in Dallas on Sunday. Ronald has lost two or three coming in, just came off a three game road trip and lost the two of the three, winning eventually in Dallas on Sunday. Onto the combo there. We have a nice feed from Chris Middleton. One all-star to another. And that's where Middleton is getting better. Right there that time. Not standing behind the free throw line. Getting other guys involved. Backed away. Here comes Kawhi. The steal and the flush. Defense to offense for him. He's hooked by that. Onto the combo. And they leave the lane wide open. Yeah. No one is going to get in his way. No, but you should have said that louder and a little earlier that they had one to give, and maybe they would have taken that foul at the top of the key instead uh, of giving them two easy ones. He is all arms and legs, man. <laughs> Look at that. It's driving across the lane is right. And picked up by Ilyasova. The Raptors have the most wins in the NBA at 37. Up to Takumbo. He is like poetry, isn't he? Oh, my goodness. Did you see him just split With that double team? I mean... They are double teaming him at the three-point line. Look at this double team. Nope, he came through it, split it, and offhand. And come on, wow! <laughs> but that's what Toronto has to do. They have to get back in transition and play old school. Get five guys to the paint and then build out. And when you have three-point shooters like Giannis does and is capable of passing, uh, that's a recipe for failure. Number two in scoring, Milwaukee. Onto the Kumbo. Brogdon ready to fire and puts down a triple. Number two in scoring, and again, they get to the paint so much, but when you have guards like Brogdon right now on this team for the Bucks has on the floor, they have five ball handlers and three knockdown shooters, and that's hard to stop when you play a team with tempo and pace. Other way under the Kumbo, sidestepping, driving, hero stepping, and putting it in with the glide. All of those steps that you just said, <laughs> that's what he did. Wow. The great fin. Here got the Bucks. Toronto is only one of ten on threes. Look away under the Kumbo. DJ Wilson puts in his second three tonight. You have to love the pace wow. of these two East Coast teams. Leonard. Dance and drive and fire. Toronto's trying to get Leonard involved. If you notice, that's the same exact play they ran last time, the same shot, except he knocks it down and didn't get fouled. The former defensive player of the year and finals MVP with San Antonio, Kawhi Leonard. And the jump shot that goes up and in, and Hill was right there. Interestingly enough, it was Hill who was traded by the Spurs to Indiana right. to get the rights for Kawhi in San Antonio. Clock at seven. He'll put up a three and get it! Giannis from outside puts it up and through a 20% three-point shooter. Shot clock down to seven. Brogdon watching Kawhi across the lane. That mid-range shot of beauty for him. Puts it down. He's got ten. Two good third quarter scoring teams. Ibaka rattles out. Leonard cleans it up and it's fouled on the play. And it's going to be the little things for Toronto. It's not going to be the three-point shooting. It's not going to be getting dunks. It's going to be getting offensive rebounds, getting to the free throw line, attacking. And that time, Middleton just couldn't hold off Kawhi. Kawhi fought a little bit harder in there, finishes strong with the left. On to Takumbo, picked up his third personal foul. Here is Kawhi at the free throw line, who has missed three recent games being inactive. They, they credit it to load management. They want to really regulate the kind of minutes he plays in the regular season. And that's great for his body, but I think that's also why he can't really be in that MVP conversation. Wow. Wow. Like this guy is in the MVP conversation, attacking the basket. He's just relentless at getting to the spots he wants to get to, Kevin. Back of the miss. Rebound by Antetokounmpo, collects his seventh, and he comes the other way. So he's gliding on air. Here comes Leonard and right around the former Defensive Player of the Year with ease and a dunk. That's so beautiful. This is definitely a throwback game. Got a guy going to work in the post, and watch. That double team's going to come next. He's going to find the open man. Triple team, that's the Kumbo. Into the cutting, Wilson. I like Wilson's Ooh. game, man. Wow, what a pretty play. Leonard. Against Middleton. It's a lane over onto the Kumbo, and that was good Milwaukee defense. You, you see how it's one on one ball on one end, and on the other end with the Bucks is pace and cutting and movement. And, and, and what you don't want to fall into as a team that's down is trying to get hero ball, trying to do it yourself. Right now, Toronto's falling a little bit into that. I want to see if Siakam can come back in the game and give them a guy that's energy 
and can push the ball to break and get guys open. Leonard doubled, feeding, Green thinking three, back to Kawhi, on top it goes, and three triple. That's why you want Kawhi to have the ball on the move. When he has the ball on the move, he's going to draw two. He's a good passer, so then you're going to get a wide open shot. Let him be your decoy. Red Leonard the other way, 5 of 15. Brockton is there. Nice play by Kawhi Leonard. Wow, he just wheeled that one in, and a good timeout call by Coach Bud as Toronto starting to gain their momentum. Lopez. Double clutch shot, rattles around and through. Siakam driving, contact, they're calling a jump ball. Well, how, how good was George Hill on his defense on Fred Van Vliet? Van Vliet watches Brogdon, quick pocketed by Leonard, two on one. Kawhi into Lopez. Knocked away by Antetokounmpo and clutched on two by Lopez. What great defense. What great defense, that was a Euro step stop. Almost by Leonard trying to find a way to get to the cup, but again, Lopez right there. On to Tacumbo and Siakam was reaching on the perimeter and picks up the Toronto foul. Dropped it with a three. Oh, that may seal it right there. A big time Brockton triple. Wow. Here comes Leonard at the other end. His three no good. Brockton in the rebound, and that should be all she wrote with a 11-point Milwaukee lead. They were up by as many as 24. Raptors were pushing it late in the game, but the Bucks hold on and will go up in this season series three games to one, which is huge in terms of uh, home court late in the year, possibly. At the Takumbo with the miss. Offensive rebound by Fletcho, and that's it. Wow. And they go inside Middleton right there with the slam. Welcome to Tangerine Raptors basketball on Sportsnet. A Sunday afternoon tip-off between the Raptors and Clippers as Toronto tries to get back on track. The fans starting to filter into Scotiabank Arena. Certainly hoping for a Raptors victory today. Following the loss to the Milwaukee Bucks, the Raptors will take it to L.A. as we come inside Scotiabank Arena. The fact that you have players in and out of the lineup and you've had some injuries, and yet here they are with one of the best records in the NBA. Three-pointer, Avery Bradley doesn't go. Raptors currently fourth best record behind Milwaukee, Denver, and Golden State. By the way, congratulations to your former assistant on the Canadian national team, Mike Malone. He represent Team LeBron. And count it, plus the foul for Leonard. Great move by Kawhi Leonard inside using his strength. And in this lineup, Clippers small. The Raptors should have an advantage on the glass. Siakam, the three, and it's good. Pascal knocks it down. 8-0 run by T.O. And again, it, it comes down to some execution, which talks about you know knowing where you do, running the floor and spacing properly, screening the right way, um, and then it's then it's down to sharing it, right? Making the one one next play if you need to. Matty, if I, if I could look at the early stretch of games for Raptors when they got off to a great start versus now, it's that. It, it's the, the way they came at you, pushing that ball up the floor. They were the aggressors, and they become more passive in doing that, and it's not just off of, off of you know, dead balls. You want to try to do it off makes or misses. You know, makes or misses, get out and run. How about that back-to-back? -back? Jumpers now for Kawhi. Raptors. Started the second quarter on a 10-0 run. Here's Kawhi. That's unfair. I mean, Avery Bradley, we talk about his defense, but he cannot guard Kawhi Leonard in the paint. And Gilgis. Alexander with 11. Tobias Harris with 5. Harrell 6. Beverly 5. Bradley 4. The starting 5. As Kawhi Leonard now has 15. And that's all you need right now. If you're going to have Bradley on him, just throw him down in the blocks and make the Clippers make an adjustment. Off the miss, Fred. On the take, drive, kick. Oh, Kawhi, wide open. Morning shoot around. Kawhi, and the three pointers got 18 points.
Oh, Bank Arena in downtown Toronto. Time for Tangerine Raptors basketball as the Nets hit town. And Mark Gasol marveling at how the Raptor fans traveled to New York on Saturday. Well, guess what? That other New York team is in town tonight, that being Brooklyn. And Mark Gasol is going to hear it from a lot bigger contingent than 1,000 tonight when he comes off the bench probably midway through the first quarter. Malcolm Miller also signed. Malcolm Miller, to me, very intriguing as that three-pointer from Joe Harris is good not necessarily maybe for this year but certainly in the future has tremendous length and prior to the shoulder injury i thought last season from a defensive standpoint remember against indiana had some really good moments for the toronto raptors no he certainly showed a lot of potential and been through a lot to get here how about that danny green answers with a three of his own danny green knocks it down he's been the top three-point shooter for the raptors this season at 42 percent here's Kawhi sends it now to Pascal foul line J drills it. Allen just spent one year in Austin, Texas at the University of Texas. Russell misses point blank again. Here's Kyle leading the break. Kawhi touches it. Kawhi now on the drive. Cut off. Double. The Baca in a crowd. A bank shot. Nice job. That's a big time move. Nice pass from Kawhi Leonard, but just a physical move into the body that time by Serge Ibaka. And there's Leonard on the inside. Three point game. Up top, Allen Crabb. And deflected by Kawhi, scooped up by Siakam. Pascal now cruising into the front court. To the trailing Lowry. Lowry puts it up. He'll head to the line. They're saying no basket, not in the act of shooting. Season or two ago, that would have been guaranteed. Absolutely. Trip to the line. But as you mentioned, I think it's been a very difficult judgment in a way and it's hard for the fans because the fans see it the way it used to be so it's a it's a hard explanation to fans because they think all right this guy's getting screwed all the time here's Kawhi with the jumper and then at the other end he gets a rebound leads the break Lowry the three got it from Barry tied at 44 it's always easier to work against a defense that's not set, right? And mm -hmm. a power move by Leonard that time. He's got double digits, 10 points. And good running teams, Matty, don't just run, as I said, off of misses. They run off of makes as well. They get that ball down the floor quicker. Russell struggling tonight, just one of seven. Lowry into the front court. Kawhi launches a three. Eight oh run by the Raptors, they lead by two. Cross court pass to Kawhi, up fake. He's in the paint, step back over Caruth's bucket. He's back. <laughs> 15 points, five of 10 shooting, and the Raptors lead by two once again. Up high off the window, and Siakam, double digit performance. And the three point of Crab, no, Abaka. Leonard backing in on Hollis Jefferson. Nice move in the post. 19 points. Kawhi. Started by Levert. Screen set by Gasol. Open look. Drills it. It's got 21. After the slow start, he's 7 for 15. 21 points. Nader Siakam, the bank shot that goes in, and the Raptors lead by five. Green, Abaka, Lowry, Leonard, and Pascal Siakam. Here's Levert, a three short. Rebound, Lowry, lead pass. Kawhi, count it, and one. Kawhi Leonard finishing. Allen stumbling to the floor, gets up. 26 points. That was a power move. Raptors lead by eight. Siakam to a pocket surge, misses. Here's a good look. Lowry's back. Here's Russell in the open court, but Lowry right there, and they're going to count the bucket. Raptors by three. I'll tell you what, that's spending a lot of time in their zone in this game. Yeah. Lowry a three, and it's good from St. Catharines. And if you want to beat his own, you get into the seams and you kick it out to the open man. Great job by Leonard to set Kyle. Kawhi, he's got 26 along with seven assists. Leonard in the paint, the no look. Lowry, three no, Abaka rebound, put back, swatted away by Allen. 
in the corner, grab a three. Man, they keep rolling out the threes. They made 18 tonight. Under 10 of the shot clock. Finds Crab from distance, got it, tied, 121-20. Kawhi, guarded by Russell, and that ends the 8-0 run, 122-122. 28 now for Kawhi. Levert, Russell, the three. Wow, what a shot. Timeout, Toronto. 125-122. 20 of 40 from downtown. The Brooklyn Nets. Here's Kawhi. Back over to Lowry. Danny Green. Works it back over. Yep. Here's Danny, the three. Harris chase off the line. His first attempt from two, and he misses it. That's why you want to get Joe Harris shooting off the dribble away from that three-point line. Raptors have a timeout left. Brooklyn has two. Not using it here. Lowry to Kawhi. Kawhi takes it in. 127-125. Leonard with the make, 4.2 left. The Nets with a chance to tie or to win it. Harris finds Russell. Russell launches it, doesn't go Lowry. The rebound, Raptors with the win. And welcome everyone to NBA Friday. Presented by State Farm from Scotiabank Arena in Toronto. And a moment ago, amidst the hugs and adulation, the much anticipated and debated introduction of former Raptor DeMar DeRozan. DeRozan in the mid range. That time a little bit short. DeRozan and Lamarcus Aldridge are 1 2 in mid range shots. Leonard got all the way to the cup and left it on the rim. Blocked on the second attempt by Aldridge. And three for a quarter counted. Green on the run. Leonard with the putback. That's twice now he scored off offensive rebound putbacks. Kawhi Leonard. Forbes with the floater. A little bit of skill putting it on the deck that time. Inside for Kawhi Leonard. And fouled by the Spurs as Bertans and Pirtle get ready to come back in for Greg Popovich. Get some interesting comments in his pregame media conference talking about the evolution of his friendship with his former teammate DeMar DeRozan. Kyle said it, it took a while because when I first came here you know I thought I might be here for two years and then out. But as time evolved and ended up being a cornerstone of the franchise who really became close and close to the bucket it's Kawhi Leonard for a pair. Rudy K airballed it. Siakam. Leonard inside off a great time. As Leonard gets the bucket inside, Rudy Gay threw down a thunderous tomahawk dunk, and it was at that moment, kind of had an epiphany, thought, you know what, I'm back now. David Bertans. Three field goals, nine points. Whistle and a foul underneath. Nurse, if you're just joining us, was ejected from the game with the two technical fouls. A moment ago, Gasol. Beautiful pass by Kawhi. Bellinelli, corner three on the way. Leonard with those big, strong hands pulling down the rebound. And an OB. Got it! OG. OK. Leonard inside. With the left hand over DeRozan. They went right to him out of the timeout. Yes, yeah, straight isolation. The Raptors passed against Raptors present. And the present won on that occasion. Popovich calls out the half-court set. DeRozan goes quick. Bellinelli for the lead. Yes! San Antonio by two. Left that one short. DeRozan with the rebound, Spurs up by one, and a turnover, Leonard, Raptors lead it!
They ripped DeRozan in midcourt. That wouldn't have counted anyway, no. Mark. Nope. And thus the night ends in DeMar DeRozan's return for the first time as a visitor here in Toronto. One of the truly great cities in North America, Toronto is, but it hasn't been a kind place for the Celtics, and it's gotten very unkind lately because Kawhi Leonard now is suddenly on this team. The Celtics have their work cut out for themselves tonight. Marcus Morris and company, Gordon Haywood set to go. Can they salvage one game in this road trip? We'll find out next. Running along the baseline, comes up on the other side, finds Ibaka open for three, and he buries it. And a shot becoming automatic for Serge Ibaka. Boy, the Raptors going to Leonard every time up the court, and he answers this time. Boy, the Raptors going to Leonard every time up the court. Leonard kicks it to the corner, Siakam again, knocks down another. And Leonard trying to play a two-man game, and Leonard just goes right to the hoop himself. It's amazing how he can operate in such small spaces. Leonard going hard to the basket for two. Great play. Smart loses the handle. Leonard for two. Timeout Boston. Toronto is up 20. Leonard. Haywood defending. Leonard to pull up. The two. Leonard's a machine. Celts turn it over. Here comes Leonard. Just gets wherever he wants to go, doesn't he? And he has a shot for every type of defense that he sees. Leonard takes it, makes it. Man, Smart is really having a hard time with Kawhi Leonard. Siakam. Green from the corner. Such so got a rotation early in that, in that possession. And it came from Irving. Hangs in the air, rejected by Siakam out of bounds. So methodical in this game. Yeah. Never rushing. He knows exactly where he wants to be. Counters what you do. Easy two. Leonard picks it up. Leonard's got 19 on the night. Leonard on the baseline. Kyrie defending. Siakam from the corner. Knocks down a three. Back here in Toronto on the North Shore of Lake Ontario, the first Friday in the month of March, folks, that means that it's getting that much closer to the NBA playoffs. A sense of urgency sweeping, cascading across the league. And here at Scotiabank Arena tonight, Damian Lillard and the Portland Trail Blazers rolling into town. One of the hottest teams in the league right now, taking on Kawhi Leonard and the Toronto Raptors. And Leonard gets the Raptors on the board. Kawhi Leonard. At 21 points Tuesday night in their last game, a win against Boston. Cullum weaving through traffic. And missed that one off glass. DJ McCollum had a 14-point game a couple of nights ago in that win. Kawhi Leonard kicks it out to Siakam. And man, has he really improved his three-point shooting, Hubie. What an improvement he's made. Absolutely. Improving his scoring nine points a game from last year. And Kawhi Leonard looks for the call, won't get it, no. but he gets the bucket. That was the Euro step in slow motion. Rodney Hood with the pull-up jump shot. Terry Stott says he may not be the guy that averaged 17 a game in Utah, but he still has that type of ability. And speaking of ability, Leonard. Rodney Hood from behind the three-point line is off the mark. Yeah, he's been to the left on the jumper uh, both times with good front distance. Lowry back out to Gasol, the extra pass to Kawhi. Kawhi Knox. Timeout, Portland. Kawhi with the hesitation, took the contact. Oh, boy. Tough shot, tough shot now, because he had to lean back to play, to get the uh, look at the glass. Look, he's missed 17 games, 11 for rest. Think about that one a second, right? All of a sudden now you bring Cantor, you bring Hood, two more guys who can score. If Turner comes back and he's healthy, all right, the knee is okay. Well, now all of a sudden you got three new guys here that can really score the ball. You know, easy, easy, oh, easy. The Chief lost the handle that time, and back comes Kawhi Leonard. All pretty good. Great time to Spicy P. How about he looked it off? He looked the guy on the right-hand side, looked that way, but he was going left the entire time. Lillard in the open court. 
The hesitation move blocked by Gasol. Uh, that's that's the second time they've blocked the shot on him, going strong to the basket. Gasol, former defensive player of the uh, year, and Kawhi taking care of the offense. Kawhi heard me say, you're only one for two and threes <laughs> at halftime. Kawhi Leonard with that step back pull up, lethal. Now that was so quick. Zach Collins coming into the ball game for Portland. Pretty. Powell on the drive. A powerful finish. Well, we know that he can go. Now, he came all the way from the baseline up around the top, ran that curl move. Raptors haven't had a field goal in the last 12 attempts. And Kawhi ends the drought. Now, that was just a great move. He just moved Collins right out of there physically, and he put the ball in right up over the top of the seven-footer. Leonard. There's that fades fade. away and got a nice soft roll. I don't care how, how well you play him because once he fades, he's 6'7 with the long arms. It's going up over the top of no matter how you try to recover. Leonard with a nice delayed step. He's got 29. Leonard Harkless. And Leonard ties it at 105. Kawhi Leonard with 31. That's his 19th. 30-point game this season. Here he goes right by the guy again. There it is. Whistle and oh, one! Oh, oh, oh. oh, Kawhi! Now that's the second time in the last minute he's just blown right by the defender and the rotating guy too late, but how about the fact that he catches, he gets, he gets the foul, it gets hit hard, but he oh. plays the glass. Danny Green, the corner three, and we're tied at 113. Yeah, Danny, we told you that. He, he ran a couple threes there, back to back. Lowry, floater, got oh, it. He made it. Up over the top of a shot blocker, right up over the top. McCollum, guarded by Gasol, missing the three. And Leonard, in the front foul. Court. You got to foul him. And they foul him. Now, they're gonna foul Leonard. No, they called. They called it. Yep. Uh, they called it out beyond the three-point line. Timeout, Portland. Leonard with 13 points in the fourth quarter. Go to Nurkic at the elbow. Yeah, uh, yeah, excellent. Lillard will get three yeah. foul shots. The big yes, he's fouled by Lowry. It's basketball. It comes down to philosophy of the coaching's there. And we're tied, Hubie Brown. Yeah. Raptors are not going to take their time out. They're going to give it to Kawhi. Now you have plenty of time here. You got plenty of time to get a good shot. Matched up against Harkless. Yeah. They'll play two-man game here. Lillard gets switched on to him. Kawhi for the win. Oh, there what a is. roll. Kawhi. Clutch. Yep. No timeout. No timeout. And that's the ball game. Raptors win it. Kawhi Leonard. How do you like him now? Kawhi wasn't a tight game until this fourth quarter, and then you really turned it on. But take us through that last play. No timeouts. Ball in your hands. Uh, you know, Coach Nick caught a good play. Kyle, he seen what was going on. We tried to run a play like that a little earlier on. I ended up kicking the ball to Kyle, and he made the layup. But this time, I just was aggressive. Took, took two dribbles to the baseline and made a shot. You spent a lot of the game just being frustrated with non-foul calls, but down the stretch really came through for your team. What did you do differently down the stretch? Um, you know, I was making shots all game, but I just felt like I was getting fouled a lot. I wasn't getting the calls that I needed to, but I just kept being aggressive. My teammate told me to keep being aggressive, and we end up with the win. When you look at the way you guys started out this game and how comfortable Marc Gasol looked in that starting lineup, what does that mean to you and this team? Well, it's great. You know, we need them to play big. We all need to play big and just have each other back. And uh, it was just a matter of time. He's still getting the rhythm of it and uh, just getting adjusted to his new teammates, but we're going to be good going forward. Thank you, Kawhi. Mark? Hello, basketball fans. We're north of the border again this week as the high-scoring James Harden, a.k.a. The Beard, steps into Toronto, and he takes on Kawhi Leonard, a.k.a. The Claw. It's players only on TNT, presented by State Farm. Tonight we have the Houston Rockets taking on the Toronto Raptor. Raptors in Scotiabank Arena. I, I still think this is a dangerous team in the postseason. Yeah, it's a very dangerous team. Great pass. Finished by, by Leonard. Leonard. Yeah. Kawhi attacks. Oh, gets away from a little push off. Stops and pop. JT, I know you like to stop and pop out of Kawhi. Kawhi Leonard. Attacks. Nice finger roll. Iso by Leonard knocks it down. Who said the mid-range game was there? It's still I, there. 
Kawhi Leonard working on the baseline with Tucker gets fouled. So, there's Miss Delic right there. Siakam comes out with the, <laughs> right in front of Tucker. He said, hey, my lucky <laughs> bank shot is winning like yours yeah, did the first half. Yeah, that's what he said to him. <laughs> but we know Toronto is one of the better defensive teams in the NBA as Leonard knocks down the mid-range J. Great and defense. Shot clock going down. Big time rebound by Tucker, but misses an easy layup. Kawhi pushes. Into the basket. I thought Kawhi might have gotten away with a carry with the ball on that one, on that one guys. Kawhi with the one hand. Thought he got fouled. Kawhi Leonard in the paint for two. Well, this team, they're going to play for him. And they believe in him. And you saw that last year. And you've seen it this year. I actually thought the job that he did when they didn't start the season well. To the basket. P.J. Tucker. Whoa. Ooh, that was scary. Welcome to Tangerine Raptors basketball, the final regular season home game for the Raptors and their fans as they take on yet another potential first round opponent in the Miami Heat. And is it the last time we will see Dwayne Wade, his heat slipping at the wrong time? They are losers of three straight now. Raptors by Juan Gasol, now over to Leonard. Here's Kawhi, strong oh, hey. take. Power move on the inside. Took the same highway and got a better result that time. Got off the right exit. Here's Kawhi. Yes, style 1 800. Yes, style 1 800. 32 31. For those commercials, they still have those. Here's Leonard backing in. And great job of just bringing in the post. And Raptors by six here. Sidestep for Olenek in the three. He is off the mark as Siakam sends it ahead to Kawhi. Kawhi finds Danny in the corner. Danny, three. Bottoms up. Five point game. Great pass by Kawhi Leonard. Here's Winslow. And off the top of the backboard, and Gasol with it. Danny, lead pass to Kawhi. Kawhi on a pull up, and it's good. Kawhi time. He's back. Double Seven digits run. again. 11 points. One point game. My opinion perimeter screening, whether it be pin downs, ball screens, and the excuse me dribble handoff clips that we're seeing now in the NBA more than ever because the, the game's being played beyond the three point line. That's an area, in my, in my opinion, that's got to become a dramatically more significant point of emphasis for our officials as we go forward because there are way too many violent collisions in our league right now that our perimeter guys are getting wrecked. They're getting destroyed on some of these actions. On the kick out, here's Kawhi, and the three is good! 96-93! Kawhi making a move on Adebayo. Gives it up, scooped up Danny. Triggers it. Good and job by Adebayo and Johnson ganging up on Leonard, making him take a tough shot. Again, athleticism, size, good pursuit. And a slam dunk underneath in a crowd. Well, again, Winslow can give it to you on both sides of the ball. He's a good defender. And he's got a little bit more playmaking in his game. Remember, he played point guard early in the year. He's got five assists today. Strong defense by Miami late. Kawhi ties it up. 99-99. And the Raptors get a stop. Quarter three, James Johnson. Well, James Johnson's had a great game today. Again, he's one of those guys. Some days you get it from him, some days you don't. But when he does give it, he's really good. 105 left. Leonard with the ball. Adebayo on him. Takes him into the paint. Gets wow, pushed out. Foul. And finally the whistle. Tied. 103-103. Dragic deflected. Wade saves it back to Dragic. Under 10 of the shot clock. Handoff now for Wade. Shot clock down to four. Wade trying to make a move on Siakam. Now that shot doesn't that, go. What was I just saying? That is elite perimeter D. Fans on their feet. Kawhi up high. James Johnson there. 
Pull up Gray. No. Off the back of the iron. Bam Adebayo and a timeout. 10.1 on the clock. Waiters to inbound it. Gives it to Bam Adebayo. Looking for Wade now. Bam splits. Here's James Johnson through the fingertips. Three on the clock. Throws it up. Doesn't go. Basket doesn't count. And Nick Nurse is saying that there was a foul. Danny Green is on his back right now, holding his left foot, now getting helped up. Tap by Kawhi to Danny the Gray. Good! Bucket and bucket. What an amazing play by Kawhi Leonard to tap that. What tremendous alertness. My goodness. Waiters air ball Siakam with it. Pascal now into the front court. I thought they were better with Winslow. Oh, great cut. Danny Green. And who gave up the cut? Waiters, right? Remember I mentioned? Winslow was a better fit. Great pass by Lowry. Green. No, Siakam there. And Danny Green hobbling around a little bit here. Well, at this point, let's just get the win here. All right, just concentrate on that. Pels wrap up their brief homestand tonight. They face the team with the second best record of the Eastern Conference, the Toronto Raptors. So playing shorthanded, Pels are going to lean on Alfred Payton as well as Julius Randle. Big time with Julius Randle because AD is out of the lineup tonight in hopes of containing all NBA talents. Kyle Lowry. And Kawhi Leonard. So let's see if they can just stay even. Kawhi Leonard, this is a great night. This is going to get it, but a great night for Kenridge Williams to get reps against a first team all league talent. Jaleel with a good take. A little bit strong. And now on the break, Siakam, superior athlete. Kawhi Leonard, not a bad catch. At a 7 4 lead for Toronto. Alfred losing the handle. He's out of bounds if he touches it. Man, he just grabbed his finger, hurt his finger. Kyle Lowry waiting and an easy one for Leonard and enough injuries Alfred needs out he may have jammed that left finger Leonard with the Ibaka coming into the game took him a long time it is even at 11 after the two free throws Denridge tried to sneak attack there denied though there's the length Siakam on the run an easy one for Leonard when the, when the hustle getting back out ran by Siakam. Danny Green. Oh, this game. <laughs> Every shot he took last game, to your point, David, he was 13 attempts. All 13 were threes. Yeah. Kawhi Leonard, the mid range. He knows his strength. Step back, in, a little bit short. Kawhi Leonard clears it away. Well, plus time. 21 19. Leonard's got 12 in the first 21. So Kawhi Leonard, 6 of 8. There's only two misses beyond the arc. Kawhi Leonard, mid-range. I, I love guys that play to their strengths. Jen, I remember it like it's yesterday. Did the game as Kawhi Leonard takes it away. He's got Lowry. Alfred played it pretty well until they reached. And now a three-point opportunity. And a tie game at 41. But David, I remember it so well. And with the left hand, great adjustment by Frank Jackson. David, he was going to the right side and adjusted midair over to the left hand. Leonard, that's their second triple on their 12th try. It'll be a deep three. Lowry's got it. Kyle Lowry in his 13th year out of Philadelphia. Final two minutes. That's what he could do against just about everybody. Size and strength coming across the middle. Leonard, breakdown. They washed it down on a screen over to the wing. Now Kawhi Leonard, his specialty. It's a line drive because of the way he uses his legs, the way he elevates. Julius on the run out. Take it away. Advantage, Toronto and Kawhi Leonard. Points off the turnover. 77 to 70. So a four-point lead. He's got that in his arsenal. Especially when he's yeah, 15 feet over a smaller man. That'll do it on the deflection and the block. And a 23-point win for the team with the second-best record of the East.
Cavaliers back home for a quick one, facing the Toronto Raptors for the fourth and final time. Both teams coming off a trip to South Beach. Toronto yesterday, 21 triples in their victory over Miami. Inside, the runner takes his time and scores. You've got to have big hands to do that. That was good defense that time, but almost knocked him off balance, but he's still able to keep control of the ball. And Leonard sends it, hits it, and he was fouled. Remember, he had five and ones against the Cavaliers in the last meeting between these two teams before Christmas. Leonard, on the spin move, takes his time. Yep. If they, they get a mismatch like that, he's not going to hesitate. Here comes Brandon Knights, mashing. Sexton on the miss. Ball punch in the air by Zizic. Good yeah, hustle. Good hustle. Ante wants it. Has got Lowry on now. Siakam helps. Ante inside with good footwork against the double team. Well, he's solid with his footwork in that in paint area. Does a good job of getting to the best. Leonard for three. But I like Zizic called for that ball in that situation yes. a moment ago. Good start for the camp net department. Jetty missed that one. Tipped up by Zizic. Couldn't control the tap. Back come the red shirts. Lowry steps into a three ball. You hear some Toronto fans in attendance here tonight. We figured we would uh, hear them in a recent game against Detroit. They were in abundance at Little Caesars Arena. Ante Zidjic, no. Kevin on the tap, got his own miss. And it dislodged though by Leonard in those big mitts. Back on the Raptors, tip feet in the hands of a patient Gasol when he was fouled. So Mark Gasol. You can see what the game plan is for this team. Get the ball down the court quickly on the Cavaliers and take advantage of early offense. And they've done it several times tonight. Leonard against Love. Leonard backing out now, spread floor. The point this time, and he stuck it. Good defense, better shots. Yes, we're 13 of 13 for the line until that miss. Here comes Leonard, sees the middle ranger and hits it. Such a consistent stroke that he's got. Yes, Kawhi Leonard with 13. Leonard, whoa, whoa. one wide left. Siakam got it. Shot clock did not reset, obviously, and Leonard hits. Yeah, he won't miss the Mulligan. second one. On the mulligan for Leonard, so give him 16 now. Well run play as Knight was picked off. Siakam around the horn, swinging it to Leonard for three. Well, right now, Toronto shows you they have a really good feel for their offense. They yes. know exactly where they want to look with the next pass. That's exactly right. Love fires. In transition for three. That's young bull wearing a smile and look right at his coach. A good example of probing it and kicking it back out. Where does Kevin Love like to shoot transition threes? Top left side of the three-point line. That's, that's his favorite spot. That's his favorite spot. And Leonard likes anything on the floor with that jump shot of his. Awaba now picks up Leonard. Abaka set that high screen for him. Ananobi sends it. And he gets the bounce. <laughs> that was well short. Yeah, it was. But it went down. That ball climbed up over the rim. Counts the same. Leonard, two-man game action. Looking for a foul, didn't get it. And the soft touch goes. It looked like he walked. I mean, he, he, he went a long way that time to take that shot. He's got a long leg. I told you that first step in his. <laughs> Pretty lethal. It's dangerous. <laughs> Leonard knocks it down for two. 108 <laughs> 90. Yes, we are north of the border on an unseasonably mild 45 degree night in Toronto. It's the usual packed house. Better than 20,000 on hand at the Scotia Bank Arena. The NBA on TNT is presented by State Farm. It's the Los Angeles Lakers facing the Toronto Raptors. Leonard guarded by James. Kawhi got the step. Missed the layup. Gasol kept it alive. Leonard for three. Yes. Well, if I can't make a layup, I'm going to make a three. He missed two little buddy. Got one block and kind of short arm that layup in there. Got it out in that. Left corner and knocked down that jumper. You can see LeBron rise up and miss a three pointer. A deep three attempted by LeBron. Leonard for three this time from straight away. Luke Walton calls for time. Nice pass to Caruso. Got him on the bounce. Caruso is going to lead the league in scoring if he keeps playing with <laughs> LeBron James and cutting. He's really done a nice job with finding the opening and just you know, putting his head down and cutting. So the game is tied. 
Patrick McCaw from deeper in the corner hits the three. Alley who contended for LeBron. Only his 11th game of the season. Here's Ritter just checked back in. 4-3. Yes. Now they say it's a two. Had a foot on the line. Here's Leonard. Open to the lane. Off the left side. Wide open to Sawyer. Saved by, by Green. Oh. Leonard from straight away. Yes. Leonard nice. from downtown. Nice extra pass by Paul. But Paul had the shot, pump faked it, drove it, and then threw it over to Leonard and knocked it down. Nice extra pass there by Toronto. Shot clock at three. There's the steal. Final seconds of the half. Leonard gets it away. And Kawhi Leonard sensing the time remaining of the half was able to check the clock, get it off, hits another three, his fourth of the first half. Toronto with a 14-2 run the last three minutes and 10 seconds, and they lead it by 11. A quick break coming up, then to our American Express halftime report. This all comes over to set the pick. Leonard did not need it as he drills it. So the other end, Kuzma missing the two free throws. Leonard getting the pick from the stall. It was another three for Kawhi Leonard. That is his fifth of the night. Five of seven from beyond. The three-point line has 21 points in all. Here's James. Ball knocked out of his hands. Picked up by Moreland. Great defense there. But it's hard to strip the ball. LeBron's got strong hands. You very seldom see him lose that ball. There's no shortage of drama between the Pistons and the Raptors this season. Back in November, an out-of-bound buzzer beater gave Dwayne Casey a win in his return to Toronto. And two weeks ago, Reggie Jackson's clutch performance gave the Pistons their first series win against the North in seven years. Nobody throws a party like the Motor City. And today, Detroiters look to toast the Pistons' first season sweep of Toronto in a decade. Live from Little Caesars Arena, it's the Pistons and the Toronto Raptors. Bounce back to Gasol, who sets the street, goes deep to Kawhi, and Kawhi Leonard scores off the square. Wide of the lane. Does up Pachulia, shot off the rim. Van Vliet with a drive. Good ball movement, they find Leonard for the corner three, and it's through. See, that's the thing, George. You can hold them, but for how long? Kawhi Leonard puts it on the floor, gets to the basket, lays it up, lays it in. Leonard against Ellington. Small trying to screen. Leonard to the basket for a score. 48-44, 11 for Kawhi Leonard, who averages 27. Ellington to the basket for the Pistons. Gets the score, hits the floor. Pistons 50, Toronto 44. Very difficult make by Ellington. Leonard on the other end. A quick three to make it a three-point game. Here's Kawhi turning. Finds the bucket and drills the shot. When you get, when the games get tougher and the competition is the same one every night, you got to go with who you trust and who is going to consistently produce. You can trust him as Kawhi Leonard knocks down another three. He has 19, and we're tied at 52. The swat by Kawhi. About that defense. Love it. Get that garbage out of here. There you go. Little St. Patty's Day swat. Reggie Jackson has it roll off the back of the iron. Good challenge by Gasol at the rim. Nice. Wide open. Nice. Corner three. Splash. Beautiful. There you go, Van Vliet to green to a wide open Kawhi Leonard right corner. Tied at 60. Ellington's three. No, see, Akin with a rebound. Yeah, he's a quick catch and shoot artist. Van Vliet finds Kawhi up fake. Traffic. Oh, great green. play. Open three. Got it. Kawhi Leonard, that was brilliant that time. 
He knows his trusty teammate, Danny Green. Explosive move on the right baseline, and then he finds the guy in the skip pass. That was a great play by Leonard. Leonard leans in, nice move, patience by Kawhi. The only double-digit score on the Raptors this afternoon. Leonard with 24 points. Close out on the inside. Kawhi quickly, here's Fred driving, kicks it. Green, Kawhi open, lines it up, got it. Kawhi Leonard made that whole play. Galloway shot doesn't go, here's Kawhi. Good play by Jeremy Lin that time, cracking down and knocking that ball loose. Need this one. There and you go. makes a three, he had been struggling there mightily Good from for downtown. Him. Good for him. Even at 100, Andre to the rack against Gasol, who commits the foul. Andre has buried them both. They're looking for Kawhi being guarded by Wayne Ellington. Andre comes, steps in front, steals. Whips it inside for Wayne Ellington, and a score! The Pistons are up four. Everybody in the gym knew they wanted to get the Leonard. What Andre, a play by Dre. Yeah, Andre reacted to it. Kawhi Leonard with the drive, fouled by Wayne Ellington with exactly a minute to play. He has 31. A two-point Piston lead, under a minute left. Huge sequence coming up here. Danny Green's got Blake. Blake backs it down, hooks, and hits! Pistons go up four, 40 seconds left. Shot won't fall, Andre with the rebound. Van Vliet couldn't score, and the Pistons have it, and a four-point lead. Reggie Jackson fouled with 20.6 seconds to play. From the corner, Green. Tapped up and in by Kawhi Leonard. So it's a three-point game with 4.4 seconds left. Welcome everyone to Chesapeake Energy Arena as the Toronto Raptors come calling to take on Oklahoma City and the winds of urgency blowing through this town. The Thunder trying to get back on the right track. Here's Kawhi Leonard sat out Monday's game against the New York Knicks for load management as Danny Green who's been shooting the ball exceptionally well this year at 44 percent on the season something that's been a little bit overlooked at times. Westbrook missing the mid-range. Adams keeps it alive. Kawhi Leonard with that length, a great rebound. Played only nine games last year with the San Antonio Spurs. And has missed 15 games this year, but drills that three. Leonard has scored double figures in all of the games that he's played this year. Danny Green for three, and that's his second one of the night. And again, Leonard creating something from nothing, gets it deep into the paint. Adams with the post up. But he's staying home, no cutters. So Adams does it himself. And he's got to deliver for them. They have to have a balance to their offense. He's got to be their post presence. He's good enough, he's skilled enough. At times, he's just not assertive enough. Guy who uh, has improved every year that he's been in the league. Boy, you got to put a hand up on Danny Green. That's his third three already. Leonard working against Paul George and Kawhi Leonard winning that addition. And an Obi on the wing in the drive. Hits it out to Powell. Just got it off in time. And to the right guy. Leonard for three. Mark Jones back with the Lord of Load Management, Jeff Van Gundy, who is in the midst of his fourth game in five nights. Coach, I'm glad you're not into that load management thing, man, because you'd just be a rumor right now. I mean, Grant on Leonard. And bleed on the baseline, a long two is pure. George off the screen. Played through the contact and missed the bucket. Leonard on the drive and the finish with the left hand. Bruder rebounded by Siakam in a quick outlet. Leonard spins on Grant. Tough shot falls. 
Kawhi Leonard now with 15. Jeremy Lin tries another three and left it short. Leonard with the loose ball dribbles out of the maze of defenders and right back into it. Van Vliet for three. Got it. Wow. Butter. Many people think that a guy is peaked at an early age as Leonard gets the flush at the rim. Ferguson to inbound. Westbrook, a tough shot. Didn't miss by much, but we'll go to overtime, folks. Five more minutes, courtesy of a 13-2 sprint to the finish by OKC. Leonard against Grant. Kawhi rising up, drills the mid-range jump shot. And the Raptors lead by four. Kawhi Leonard with 19 tonight. Ferguson got a look from three and bricked it. Leonard on the catch, draws the foul, and they're going to count the bucket. So says Tony Brothers, but they're going to look at it as well. Westbrook on the inbound. Thunder with its first bucket right there in overtime. Took almost four and a half minutes. And Westbrook has his fifth 40th point game of the season. And that basket appropriate for Pascal Siakam. A crisp, clear, but beautiful night here in Toronto, Canada as the Thunder make the only trip north of the border to take on the Raptors for the second time in as many nights after losing on Wednesday night in overtime. Well, every opportunity you get, you want to try to get this Toronto defense when it's backpedaling or somewhat unsettled as Leonard drains the three. And so two threes so far for the Raptors, one from Pascal Siakam, the other one from Kawhi Leonard. Going to try to post up Leonard. There's the drive on George, stood his ground, but muscles it up and in. Again, no Kyle Lowry tonight, so it's Van Vliet. Had the step outside the green. That's his second three of the night. Hey, can you see what's happening with the offense? This is what Toronto will do for you. Sure, sizes it up wide open. Not that time. Now Leonard. Spinning. Outside the open man, it's Lynn. And the threes keep on falling for Toronto now. Seven out of nine here in this first half. George trying not to pick up his third personal foul, and Leonard with the burst. George using his size inside, got the bounce. Went right at Van Vliet. That's he just doesn't stand nearly as tall as George at 6'9. That's called a mouse in the house on the perimeter. Help defense came over. Ferguson. But Leonard able to finish over the top of him. The ball movement. Back out to Leonard. Passed up a couple of good shots. And so Leonard instead is going to have to drive. Shot clock winding down. Not a problem. The skip pass over to Green in the corner. High arcing. No, but Leonard did not get boxed out. And he was able to slip his way for the follow slam. Leonard evading defensive players. That's going to be a bump and a foul on Adams. I think with the officials right now, maybe they're looking at replay. Why Leonard again? Goes for the series of moves and a spin and a foul. As the initial defense on him was excellent. Now, is that the first time somebody's ignored your advice and had a lot of success? Well, you know, you always want to err on the, on the side of caution. A surge makes a tough, tough layup. But you never know how guys are going to turn out. George, catch fire three. One a little strong, but still a three-point lead for the Thunder. A couple of minutes right here in this fourth quarter. Leonard off the dribble three, and we are tied at 88. As George went for the ball fake, and Leonard with the last, I should say, four out of the last six for Toronto. This is the patent Thunder defense that we came accustomed to seeing. As that is a three by Leonard, a much-needed three is the Thunder on a 13-1 run. Leonard, same spot that time, able to finish his trip. Grant did not want to foul out. He has five personal fouls. George, Adams, back outside. Westbrook tees it up. Again, it's Kawhi Leonard and Jeremy Grant. The Thunder got to get him off. That's going to be an and one. And you just can't have Jeremy Grant trying to guard Kawhi Leonard in that situation. Leonard hits a hit. George. And George with those three personal fouls. George recovers, but the saw was left open as Steven Adams hung around with the help to try to close off Kawhi Leonard. And it should, or why not, the exclamation point. 
capping off this massive Thunder second half comeback. Able to take the lead, corner three. He's good by Leonard. Westbrook gets it right back. And what is still a five-point game. Gasol's going to have to get it back out. Van Fleet, that one was almost from the logo. It's an air ball, and Russell Westbrook fittingly comes down with the rebound, and the Thunder's losing streak is in the rearview mirror, picking up a massive road victory here tonight against the Toronto Raptors, the number two seed in the Eastern Conference, and it came in comeback fashion. Good Sunday night or Sunday afternoon on the West Coast, but we are off the shore of Lake Ontario. Tangerine Raptors basketball on this Sunday night. Down the stretch we go. Nine games left. The Raptors against the Charlotte Hornets tonight. Kawhi backs in. Double comes. Siakam with a head fake. And look at Pascal. Three of four from the field. He's got nine points. Nice pass by Kawhi Leonard that time. He saw the double come and got rid of it quick. Again, when you trust your teammates, the ball doesn't get sticky. Kawhi driving on Williams. Banks it in. Raptors by seven. Here's Lamb with a jumper that doesn't go. One big and four perimeter guys, and obviously, you know, Ananobi and Leonard mixing it up between the three and four. Nice setup again. Kawhi Leonard, draw, kick, corner, three from Ananobi. Beautifully done. That was really nice. Five. Ananobi, North Powell. They're the Jeremy eight, Lynn, nine, ten ish. Patrick Paul. Those are the guys. Yep. Those four fighting for a few more spots. Depending again, depending on what the playoff rotation is going to be, whether you're playing eight, nine, or ten, and the I, game dictates that. And your opponent and style of play, number of days off between games in the first round. All Three is good. Kawhi Leonard. Everybody's very comfortable with. The starting five and what they've been able to do. And now look, we're, we're Leonard with the denial there. We're seeing Kyle Lowry back for the first yeah. time with everybody. But you're getting, obviously, a sense of what that group can do. Yeah, Kawhi Leonard, you know what he says, Matt? Get that garbage out of here! Pascal nearly has it knocked away by Bridges. Now on the drive, a strong take. Doesn't go Kawhi cleaning up. Let's send it over to... Kayla Gray with more on the turnovers. Corner three, Monk no. And batted away from Siakam, scooped up Leonard. Here's Van Vliet. Nice closeout by Monk Leonard. Over Hernan Gomez with the trigger, and the three is good. He's got a dozen. Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi. Over Bacon, and it's good. Kawhi drills it coming out of the timeout. Charlotte at home, they've been solid, 23 and 15. They've struggled out on the road, 10 and 24. But as we said, this is a team chasing that eight spot. Gasol up top. Here's Kawhi. Jumper, good. He's on a 4 0 run. Dial it up, Jack. Cold blooded, isn't he? Raptors down by 10, going small here. Siakam at the five. Oh, Norman Powell. Now that's what I'm talking about, Jack. Steady Freddy, and the crowd erupts. Dial it up, Danny G. I gotta have it. Here's Kawhi. North moves it. The green drive dumps it off. And the slam dunk. Oh, Jack Armstrong. Loving it. Loving it. Loving He's it. smiling. Loving it. How good was Bisbeck Diablo in the Eastern Conference oh, Finals a few years ago? Kawhi. And I wouldn't mind seeing number two in white in an Eastern Conference Final game for the Raptors. Stuck one here. Big trip right here. Come on, they played last night. You got to have more juice than them. Let's go. Both teams, Jack with a foul to give. Raptors have two timeouts. Charlotte with one. Siakam up high. Kawhi. Gathers is fouled. Nice find that time by Pascal Siakam. This group of five, they've been really good, Jack. Siakam at the five and Leonard at the four, Green at the three. Hey, how good have these two teams been? Charlotte 32 assists, Toronto 29. So the ball's humming around the building today. Lowry finds Leonard, bacon on him. They clear out for Kawhi. Seven on the shot clock, five on the shot clock. 
Jumper. Good. Well, there was nothing exotic whatsoever. That was a pure, give it to your best player, ISO play right there. Raptors, their first lead since it was 63-61. Here's Walker. Denied by Kawhi. The claw. Siakam disrupts it. Lamb has to throw it up. Oh, my! It goes! It goes! A desperation three from Lamb. Three-quarter court. They're going to review it. Great denial, Siakam. And then just a heave at the buzzer. Tuesday night, Tangerine Raptors basketball on TSN. Down the stretch we come. Eight games to go. Raptors against a team that has lost 50-plus against a team that's won more than 50 games. You can see Kawhi and Kyle on the big screen. Kyle obviously playing again here tonight. Leonard knocks it away. And the Raptors across the timeline. Remember the Dapper Don back in the day, right? Oh, yeah. Green corner three, racking up. Danny D, you asked for it, you got it. Here's your Danny Green three. They look to set up Siakam in a turnover, and the Raptors get it right back. Good job by Marcus Gasol cutting off the lane. You know, and honestly, my phone's running out of juice, so I handed you my phone before yeah. to plug in. I haven't even. There's a few of them here. Oh, but not actually as many as you would think. Quite a few people have contacted you. Did, I, I did you have anything to say? I hit a home run working with you. And I hit a home run working with him. So I'm very fortunate. And you guys carry me. Thank you. Well, that's not true. And uh, well, you're, you're the one that. Well, that's, that's shocking. And thank you. Leonard at the foul line backing in. And it's good. One of five now from the field, his first bucket of the night. The aspect of Kyle's game that you appreciate at his age. Here's Kawhi Leonard. Leonard driving, lays it up and in. Is how he changes the game and how selfless he is giving his body up. And now swatted and take it by Kawhi. And Pascal slicing through. He's got eight. Here's Kawhi backing in on Selden. And a whistle and a foul. Now the Raptors are wearing the red jerseys tonight, and that is what we call cherry picking in the schoolyard. That was a little leak out that time. How about Kawhi? He's come away with like four steals here tonight. Kawhi finds Kyle to three, and it's good. Here's Kawhi making a move and lays it up and through. Now where is that guy Lombard? Is he like, I think he's in Jersey now in the witness protection program, Jim Lombard. Kawhi, and a bank shot. Kawhi Leonard has the highest scoring average in the month of March of any Raptor, 29.4. Two regular season home games remain five overall for the Toronto Raptors before the most anticipated playoff run in franchise history. The Raptors welcome a potential first round opponent tonight in the Orlando Magic to Scotiabank Arena as the Rats make their final push to the playoffs. And the Raptors 0 for 3. Magic 3 of 3. DJ Augustine behind the back, stolen by Lowry. Transition opportunity. Siakam gathers in the corner. Leonard Trailer Green in the paint. And Danny Green, a nice move. Steve Clifford, his sixth overall season as a head coach of an NBA team, five seasons in Charlotte. And now with Orlando after getting relieved in Charlotte. And he's done an excellent job, and Green connects. Vucevic on Lowry, skip pass. Kawhi, corner three, Kyle, good. Nice team play that time, the ball humming around the perimeter. It's not that warm for the Orlando people, though. Oh, they're all wearing sweaters. Here's Kawhi just muscling in. Ball fake, drive, kick in the corner, open. Danny Green 
is on fire. But here's Vucevic. And Danny Green pulls the chair. Here's DJ Augustine. No, Kawhi with it. Well, Vucevic trying to score from his knees. Kawhi on the inside, no call there. Gets it back, just goes to work. Count it, and the foul. All right, Jack now is smiling. Gasol with a screen, and the three doesn't go. Look at Kawhi, right out of the air. Gasol for the lead, got it, and the foul! Kawhi Leonard rips down the rebound. Gasol makes a three, and he's fouled, and the Raptors lead for the first time. Here's Kawhi. Move on oh, the inside. That was explosive. And he's headed to the foul what, line. He meant business on that move. I mean, he just, there was a burst there. You know, does the guy have to move a little right or left? But if it's right into the guy's shooting pocket, and, and all he's got to do is catch it and, and get rid of it, right? The percentages go up even more, right? A dozen now for Kawhi. And these guys are professional shooters. They all have, like, good mechanics. The three from Omimi! Matt, this is ridiculous. The Raptors have 24 assists on 30 field goals. A sun-drenched day in Brooklyn. We've got a big one tonight at Barclays Center. Oculus Cam is in effect as the fans are streaming in. Get ready for the Nets and the Toronto Raptors. Final meeting of the season. And we have it for you right here on Yes. And Kuruc turns it over. Loop ahead for Leonard. Attacking the rim, and he lays it in. Kuruts will fire. That had to be partially blocked by Kawhi Leonard. Pull up, pop, book it. And the Nets lead by one. On the move, Joe Harris scurries for the jam. The Nets love that in their early offense. Looks like it's going to be just a simple dribble handoff. And continuation. Yes, for Leonard, and a chance for three. Harris, ball fake. Crossover, tip ball by Gasol. And a turnover. Green, former high school quarterback, gives it up. Oh, big finish! Kawhi Leonard! And the Nets just tossed it away. Dinwiddie playing with two fouls, has to be careful here. He goes down, and Ibaka puts it in. Right now, the Nets trail 43 to 34. You're just going to trust me on the math, I guess. Yeah, I trust you on everything. Backdoor Leonard throws it down. 13 for Kawhi Leonard. Leonard curls around. Baseline delivery, that's money. Danny Green. Grab by Leonard. Clear to Meeks. He's never shy from three-point range. Well, we saw the exasperation of Kenny Atkinson right in front of us with that offensive rebound. Force the guy in Danny Green to miss a three-point shot. Got to come up with it. Leonard with two hands. Kawhi Leonard. He can lull you to sleep and then explode. High-low action. Too easy. Kawhi Leonard. It's a 10-point game in a zone. Leonard dissects it and slices it up. 21 for Kawhi Leonard. Leonard back in. Oh, nasty! Kawhi Leonard, the spin and baseline beauty move. Loop it inside. Leonard backs out of there off the double team. No look. Lowry stutters. And scores. What a pass by Kawhi Leonard. He's got two guys on him, realizes that Lowry is cutting on the weak side of the paint and still able to deliver and find him. Levert doesn't take the three. Graham will. No. Leonard running hard. Hollis Jefferson backpedaling. Repost. Leonard. Book it. 26 for Kawhi Leonard.
Charlotte, North Carolina, as the Raptors are on the road for the second of their two-game road trip, coming off a victory over the Brooklyn Nets a couple of nights ago. The Raptors have won five straight games heading into tonight's tilt as we come inside the spectrum. Their hopes are, are fading. They essentially have to win out four games today, Sunday in Detroit, Tuesday, Cleveland, and then Wednesday night in Orlando, which could be a significant game. Well, they could impact what other teams certainly can accomplish no question oh, about Leonard that. on the inside. He has just been playing so strong, Matt. He's doing a great job of getting inside, using his strength. Lowry to Leonard. How about that pass from Leonard on the baseline? You're going, how does he even see Kyle in that angle? He finds him, and Kyle gives it right back to him. And Kawhi gets it to Green, and Danny Green connects. He's made 192. Three pointers issues a Charlotte team coming off of road trip. Played New Orleans. Campbell Walker, big numbers. Kawhi Leonard. Maddie, that's how you post up. You saw what Kawhi Leonard did. He had he had Jeremy Lamb on one side. The Raptors were patient to move it around. Look at this. He's got him. Keep swinging it. Now he's got a seal and you throw the ball in. But so many times teams won't wait for that. You look on one side, ah, I can't make the pass, and you just go away from that guy. Kawhi fading, drills the J. And that was over Batum as well. Charlotte back up by one. Kawhi, and he's in the act of shooting. Kawhi pulls it back out. Here's Gasol, quickly back over to Kawhi. Kawhi crossover in the paint, attacking. That's exactly it, Matt. He's attacking. He's just going to the rim. He's going right at his defender. Raptors led by as many as 14. Turnovers, a little bit of an issue. Count it. Plus the foul. Wow, that was smooth. Well, see how quickly this team, Matty, when they when they say, okay, let's let's put the Jets on here. Yeah. Let's take this, take this game. Kawhi and right to the rim, 11-0 run, and, and how about this, a minute and 20 seconds. That's what I'm saying, Matty. It's, it's, it's crazy how quickly they can change a game. Kyle, a fake, opening, wide open, good! Matty, they used every second on the clock. It's impressive. The Raptors have been in the lead. For 59.9, nearly 60% of their time on the court this season. Second only to Milwaukee, who's been in the lead 63% of the time. Kawhi Leonard with a bucket in you. Start to think about all the different combinations we talked about earlier. Kawhi. Leaning in. Nice job, Kyle Lowry. You know, what, look at this pass right here. Another beautiful play. This time a Baca down to Kawhi Leonard. More importantly, is making sure that everybody's healthy and ready to go. There's Leonard wow. drills it, 27, and a timeout. Siakam a three, got it! Oh, spicy P! How about that, Matty? 7 0 run. Raptors defense has limited Charlotte. Wow. And got Kemba, it. that's their first bucket in three minutes. Let's see what he was able to do is turn the corner. Pascal Siaka needed to cut him off and Fred trap him, but he turned the corner. Kawhi got it. Timeout. Charlotte. Lamb has already done it once. Here's Walker. Campbell Walker turns the corner, driving, kicks it. Lamb open three, good! Raptors have two timeouts left. They use one here. Here's Kawhi turning, squares up. And jump ball is called point eight. Can the Raptors come up? with a half-court miracle. Gasol, back tap, Van Vliet, launch. That's what's set up. And instead, it's knocked out of bounds. And the Raptors, I think, they want to review. Referees are going to say that the game's over. And Jeremy Lamb, not silenced. Once and again. He, 
knocks down the three. And the Hornets stay alive for postseason play. Well, tonight at Target Center, we, the North, visits All Eyes North in a game that holds some importance for the visitors. A Toronto victory here would ensure the Raptors of home court advantage in the NBA Finals should they be fortunate enough to get that far this postseason. Andrew Wiggins, a Toronto native. Yeah, you're right, Jim. The, the matchups in San Antonio have not been, were not favorable for Andrew against Kawhi Leonard. It's a bad matchup. And look at the size difference between Kawhi Leonard and, and Andrew Wiggins. Kawhi Leonard drilling the three right on cue. Of course, who is a good matchup against Kawhi Leonard? LeBron not, James. Not a lot. Of, well, <laughs> it's, a, it's a small group. It is a small group. You're right. Van Vliet, the only starter for the Raptors not to attempt the three. Kawhi Leonard off the feed from Van Vliet. Yeah, they try to deny the catch to Kawhi Leonard. They just go high low. So that's, what, where, I, that's where I got to know Flip Saunders. And speaking of Flip Saunders, what do you think of, of Ryan? I mean, what, when, when you were here, Ryan was a little boy. He was 12. Him, to see him in this situation. Do you see Flip's mannerisms in Ryan? I do a little bit. You know, when you have that type of camaraderie and that type of chemistry with your players, and on top of it, old staff members like Jerry Seesting, <laughs> and now I heard Randy Whitman's in the building. Oh, I'm just throwing that out there. Well, KG, the invitation is open anytime. You would like to come sit in for it for as little or as long as yes. you'd like to be on the broadcast. One segment, we take that. Kawhi Leonard, the attack, and he goes into double figures now. Leonard drills the triple. Second made three for Kawhi Leonard, eighth for the Raptors tonight. The bottom five in the West is is no joke either. I mean, like, the, the, the playoffs are going to be amazing. I, I'm looking forward to it. Eastern Conference first round may not be as interesting, but the second round in the East is going to be absolutely fascinating. Second round will be a bloodbath as Kawhi Leonard now is his third made three. Kawhi you know, kicks out to Van Vliet, and that's the tenth made three tonight for the Raptors. So the Timberwolves will fall short on Ryan Saunders' mandate for them to keep Toronto under ten. A little bit disappointed, Jim, that Serge Ibaka did not get to play tonight. Oh, yeah, not you, were, on the bench. you went into the deep dive of the Serge Ibaka as a chef. I got video. I, I got sucked down the Serge Ibaka, <laughs> how hungry are you, rabbit hole again. We talked about it when we were in Toronto.